live and local across the city and South Cambridgeshire. Cambridge 105 Radio. Two years in the making, welcome to the Cambridge Band Competition 2021. The Strawberry Fair Cambridge Band Competition is a showcase for the best in local new music. We're live at Cambridge Junction where over the next four and a half hours we'll bring you all seven local acts. Coming up, under 18's winner, uh, Chloe Lorenzen. Heat 1 win winners, Shambertons. Heat 2 winners, Pink Lemonade. From Heat 3, Bleed Easy. From Heat 4, The Routine. From Heat 5, Genom. And the Heat 6 winners, Strawberry Lace. There's also prizes for the winners and best acts in many different categories. Uh, amongst them, the prestigious Kimberly Rue Best Song Prize. And Kimberly's going to be live with us later in the programme. Alex Elbro is here as well. Hello. Hello. Lovely so you normally, to see you. normally you're downstairs. <laughs> yes, exactly. Normally I'm pushing your nose against the front of the stage. Yes, definitely. So I, I can remember being here in 2019, and uh, yeah, it was packed, and uh, it was a really, really good, good night. Who are you looking forward to seeing tonight? Well, um, I'm quite looking forward to everybody, as always. I, am, I have a very eclectic mix of, of choice in music. But uh, Chloe Renson, I cannot believe, you know, is still only 14 and has... Um, oh, no, she had her first album at 14. She's still only 16. And uh, she's going to be our first act tonight. But also um, Shambertons, who I've seen a few weeks ago. My first live gig back after um, all of the... You know what's happened. Oh yes, well, we won't uh, we won't mention that. It's, it's one of the reasons, by the way, why we've had to keep you waiting uh, for the competition. Some of the heats took place last year. Some of them have taken place over the past few weeks. You might have seen them on Cambridge 105 Radio or heard them. Uh, tonight, though, you can see us. If you want to go to YouTube and search for the Cambridge 105 Radio YouTube channel, and uh, you'll be able to find myself and Alex there, and of course, most importantly, uh, see the acts live on stage. Uh, so that's all to come. Um, first, though, Alex, are we going to introduce the, the last? Well, not last year's winner. We had to correct ourselves. The 2019 winners were Grassroof Psychedelic Rockers, formed in the first year at ARU's Popular Music Degree. They have since gone on from strength to strength, and after releasing their first EP in 2018 and supporting international acts such as the OCs, they went on to win the 2019 Cambridge Band Competition. Here they are with their track, Mountainside. Thank you. 
So that's the music from last year's winners, uh, Grass Roof. Uh, they're preparing down on the stage at Cambridge Junction now to go to the first of the acts. I remember seeing Chloe Lorenzen, I think, at the Portland Arms um, four or so years ago. Yeah, and then uh, imagine then you all thought, oh, she's quite young to be doing work thing, but doing very well. And now look, she's uh, what two two albums under her belt. Yeah, and, it, uh, here tonight. It, fabulous. Uh, Chloe is the uh, twenty uh, under eighteens winner in the Cambridge Band competition uh, this year. Uh, let's uh, go and uh, listen to her set. Get it again. For all you people dressed up to impress, this is crowd people. Don't forget what's real. They don't care how I feel. Their lies appeal. Don't forget what's real.
small decision is based on competition. It seems you want an answer. Oh, oh, your little chance. Oh, oh, just work a little smarter. So this is Rich, this is Tom, I'm Chloe, and this is Lies. That you will forget the next day. There's no chance I'll forgive what you've done. For as long as I live in lies, won't change for you. No way. Cause I won't play those games you play. How
saddest songs you'll ever hear that came to Canada. It's called uh, Neon Zamorphis, Grab Your Fishy. It's quite sad. Um, hope you enjoy it. Please don't you Singing so tonight. 
if that wasn't sad enough, this is our last song. Woo! Oh, Lewin. <laughs> yes, it's their last song. <laughs> this is called Somebody Someone. I wrote it on the day I found out that my husband died. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Just can't see a plan, but there's always dark before the dawn. But not every time, I guess it's just a mess. Who am I when I'm at my best? I must confess, it's all suppressed. Every day I feel less and less. Just read my mind. I can be easily replaced. I know you will leave me behind, but when you do, will I be? I just can't see a way to tell you that I'm so weak. Just look at me, can't even speak. Just don't know who I'm meant to be. Can't find me in you. I don't know. I don't know myself. I don't know myself. Don't know myself. Cause I can't find me in you. I don't know. I don't know myself. Cause I can't find me in you. I don't know. I don't know myself. Cause I can't find me. That's Chloe Lorenzen, who was the under-18s winner, first performer on stage at Cambridge Junction this evening. Enjoy that? Oh, yeah, absolutely. What a great start, eh? I mean, 
I, I'm still blown away the fact that she's got two albums out, 16, and uh, she just sounds so confident, and with a band this time as well. I don't know about you, I hadn't released any albums by the time <laughs> I was no. 16. Um, have one of her idols is the US country singer Brandy Carlisle. I can really Absolutely, hear the, the yeah, yeah. <laughs> reflections of, of Brandy and yeah, in, in Chloe's singing. And she sang, she sung with her as well. I mean, how cool is that? That is ser seriously cool. I should mention, by the way, if you've tuned in for O'Reilly Country, you might have enjoyed uh, the last set, and I suspect you'll enjoy uh, some of the other music that we have for you tonight. Brian's going to be back with O'Reilly Country uh, this time next week, of course. Uh, back in, um, I think he's off this week, isn't he, on early breakfast? Yeah. Back Monday morning <laughs> uh, for early breakfast as well. Uh, we're hoping, actually, that uh, we might get a word uh, with Chloe. It kind of depends on how quickly they manage to clear away um, the various instruments. I think normally they sort of start at the front and work, <laughs> and work, backwards. Wor work backwards, various <laughs> bits and pieces going off I off the stage during the course of the evening. I think it's always good if you haven't got a drum kit, but they did have a drum kit, but whether they're borrowing each other's drum kit, who knows? Um Yes, it's I, uh, I always think that would be like sensible say, if they the quicker the you kit. can do it, the better, isn't it? Yeah. Especially for us here. <laughs> so what we've got, so uh, with each of the uh, artists who we're hearing from tonight, and there's another six to come uh, before we find out who the winner of the Cambridge Band Competition 2021 actually is. Each of the artists are going to perform a set of around about 20 minutes. Uh, there's then a, a changeover, around about 10 minutes, and during that time, uh, there's some of the other awards which are going to be uh, given out. Amongst them is going to be the Kimberly Rue Songwriting Award, and hopefully uh, we'll be able to chat with Kim a little later on, amongst other things. Uh, the writer of Walking on Sunshine yeah, uh, for Katrina but and the Waves. That's a pretty cool one. Isn't it's it? a pretty cool it's, it's one. It's something that um, I, I, I have sung in, my, in myself in the past uh, for... Um, just charity gigs. I thought that was one of my uh, go-to songs. I'm surprised you're not in with the Cambridge Band. Well, one day. As well, Sh like should we do that still, one day? There's possibly still. <laughs> you meet the criteria of, yes. I think it's 45 mile radius from oh, Cambridge. Oh, I definitely, yeah, so uh, I definitely have that one. I can tick the box for that. Walked here tonight. That's a very easily one to tick for me. But I'm interested that there's quite a lot of really great prizes tonight. Now, all the finalists all get a, a slot on the main stage at Strawberry Fair, which will go ahead next year, which is great. But equally, um, the winners, I am allowed to say how much they are. I'm allowed, to, allowed to say, <laughs> yes. The winners will uh, receive £400, which as a band is going to be a great boost for you know, recording time or for you know, getting to gigs or whatever. And the Kimberly Rue Songwriting Prize, which also, as we said, you know, is, is a really prestigious prize, that's another £400. And that goes to the best song, though. That will be, it's a sort of separate from the uh, competition tonight. It's, a, it's a sort of almost separate competition. But you have to submit the song for him to judge on that one. There's an acoustic prize, which will be a uh, slot at Camp Festival, as well as £200 performing fees. And for the rock band, uh, best rock art um, band for night, £100 cash. So not to be sniffed at. Prizes which are worth having uh, by, by the sounds of things. We'll let you know who uh, some of those winners are as we, as we find out ourselves which hopefully we will somebody will, will, will come and tell us we should, should explain we are the backstage at Cambridge <laughs> Junction uh, up in the bar area uh, <laughs> where and, uh, and apparently this is where artists hang out it's not uh, the kind of bar that the likes of you and I Alex no. are normally well, required I to go I to I have never been up here so you know it's another first for me at the Junction I am a member of the Cambridge Junction but not that sort of member of my the trip but yes it's, it's a, another area which is yeah, so they're not really being able to see. The, well, luckily they haven't given us the art, the answers to any of these things. So they might have given out too early. <laughs> we, we do have, so we have a monitor where we can see downstairs. At least yeah. we, uh, we did have a monitor. Lawrence is standing in the way, so we can't <laughs> actually find out at the moment. Uh, not to worry though. Uh, right, our next artist, who we're going to be hearing from in about five minutes or so, are the winners of Heat One, Shambertons. You went to see them not I not did. that long ago. Yes, so that they played back at Injunction Two. Um, a few weeks ago now, probably maybe four or five weeks ago, it was my first live gig back in, um, after, say, you know what, well, I think it was the first uh, live gig at the Junction, actually, and they were supporting Fred Sounds. So it was a brilliant uh, double, you know, double bandage. That sounds made. a brilliant, yeah. a brilliant yeah. gig and to go along to. I, I can guarantee they're going to be a lot of fun, and lots of lively, uh, jumping around and getting all the audience going, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to this one. 
the Shamberton's on stage in the next five minutes or so. I'm just trying to see if there's any movement downstairs. There doesn't appear to be uh, any at the, uh, the moment. Adam, I kind of rec recognise the... Um, uh, rec recognise the hair of the drummer, so that's uh, that's that's happening shortly. Uh, what we're going to do, though, uh, whilst uh, we wait for them to be ready, is to uh, go back a few years to 2017. Uh, the winners that year uh, were Flint Moore. Uh, this is Body and Soul. I seem to recall they came from down the market. I think they just managed to get in on that rule in terms of how far away you can be before. I think that's definitely what if they made it in and they won, so we can't really complain about it. Uh, we're going to uh, have a chat now with uh, Chloe Lorenzen. And Chloe has uh, just come off stage, uh, having been the first act here. Then you were also the under 18s winner. Uh, a couple of, uh, well, how long ago was it? Yeah, that was one of the more recent ones, I think, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, that was very recent. Um, honestly, I have the worst memory in the whole world. So, <laughs> so I can't tell you exactly when it was. I think it was a couple of months ago. Uh, we were very lucky in which case that you weren't one of the acts for some of them, of course, were from the um, the early heats. I think Chamberton's and Pink Lemonade, their heats, of course, were, were last year, which confuses things. <laughs> From a gigging point of view, have you have you managed to do much over the past two years? I guess it's beginning to uh, heat up a little bit now. But well, yeah, um, I mean, COVID is really difficult to do things, but um, I still managed to do quite a lot. Um, I did. <laughs> there we go. I managed to do quite a lot um, during uh, lockdown, so I was releasing a song a month um, towards the start of this year because um, I'm releasing a new album, which is going to be on vinyl, which is going to be very fancy and cool. Um, but yeah, I'm releasing that at the moment. Still working on that. Still gigging places. Yeah, it's it's all going on and it's steadily moving up. So can you do with the band? Um, is this a new thing or is this going to be just for gigging? Um, it, it's quite a new thing. Tom has been with me for a couple months. That is Tom. <laughs> Say hello to everyone, Tom. <laughs> And um, yeah, I had a I had a brilliant drummer called uh, Tom Breton. Um, he's gone to Liverpool now because he's in the union. But um, I, I played with him for um, the under 18 seats. Um, it was amazing. Can't play with him now, so he struggled so hard to get a drummer. Um, so we got a drummer, um, and yeah, he's amazing too. Sitting right there. <laughs> you can't see. He's yeah. just, he's just declining to speak. No comment. He's doing. That's what drummers do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but. Um, my rule is drummers aren't meant to speak. Yeah. Joking, that's <laughs> <laughs> My um, son's a drummer as well. <laughs> Do you let him speak? Not I very often, <laughs> if anyone knows me. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so uh, the band thing is kind of new. I'm really liking it. So um, probably for serious gigs, I'll stick with that. Because you've been, effectively, you've been performing for at least half of your life, if not like two-thirds yep. of it, really. Mm. Uh, I think 
this doesn't really count, but I did my first performance when I was eight at a park. And I sent out flyers, well I made little flyers for everyone. And I was like, girls singing at the park at four o'clock, it was already like six o'clock. So this was officially your, your own gig, this wasn't part of, yeah, yeah. I don't know, some sort of yeah, Sunday afternoon fate or something, but, um, this, was, this was all you. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but no one came to that, so it doesn't really count. Um, that was just no a simple thing when I was eight. I said, uh, I said it now, it's out. <laughs> we, we don't often but mention Peterborough because we're a Cambridge station, but mm. I, I know that the, the Peterborough Music Festival uh, was, was a few years back was uh, pretty significant yes, for you. I've, I've done, um, done so many things. I've, I've not too long ago in Peterborough, I supported Ren Harvey at the Met Lounge. I supported Little Comets at the Met Lounge. There's been a lot of things going on in that Lounge. Um, but um, Tom was with that for the Little Comets gig. And uh, yeah, I, I've been gigging, like, for so long, I've uh, I've I've bust from when I was I think 11 until until now. Um, I bust for, for so long; it's really built up my confidence on stage. And, yeah. and uh, w at your uh, your uh, being under 18, still at still at school, obviously. But yes. um, six form now. Six form now. So wh where's six form? Which one? Uh, I go to Stanford and Dad School. Okay. It's it, it's a great school. Great school. A lot of work. I never knew. <laughs> A-levels is so tiring. Form, yeah. I, I find it a, a lot of fun, but it's very tiring. Uh, and do, do they also have music within the curriculum? Or um, um, is that something yes which you do. kind of have to do outside? Or do you get the things that you want to do uh, within that? Does, does that? does that help you in your own music? Or do you, um, do you look elsewhere for that? I look everywhere for that. Mm. Um, but um, within, within school, because um, I only just joined the school, so it's, it's very new. There's not a lot of things happening from COVID. So I think they're just getting going again, and I'll be doing some stuff as well soon. Mm -hmm. That's great. And you say, is the band on your, your current al album that's about to come out? Or um, will that, do you think, be a, a new thing that you'll do? No, they're so far, they're not. I'm, st I'm still recording about halfway through. Uh, I just recorded a very lovely, heartbreaking piano song the other day. But Tom has already played bass on uh, some of the uh, unreleased songs so far. So, um... Yeah, the band thing is definitely very new, and what I usually do for my, um, you know, songs and releasing stuff, I usually go on Fiverr and I tell, like, a violinist or a drummer exactly what I want, um, and they just play it, and they're m always, like, on the other side of the world, so, you know, uh, I s sort of do that kind of thing, but I'm pretty sure that in future things. Do, do you then record stuff. with their tracks, or is that just to, to get things going? That well, you, no, I... That? I try and play all instruments so I get all the basics down I get because uh, when I write my songs uh, I write them by myself I come up with instrumentation instrumentation that's called, by myself and I do all that and I'll go away on Fiverr and I'll tell someone exactly what I want and if they don't get it right I'll get angry I'm joking I <laughs> but um, if they don't do what I want then you know you send it back you have a little um, I forgot what the word is I think it's and and yeah, you get exactly what you want, and you just put it on the track and you mix it. And it sounds really good. Do you play other instruments as well as sing? I mean, you say you do the instrumentation, but do you do you play? You sound like you play piano as well as sing. I play piano. I play guitar. There you go. Um, <laughs> I was playing guitar on stage. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, I try and play as many things as possible. I can't play violin. I can't play trumpets. I can't play all the strange it's quite hard things to do that I want and to. Sing, though, to be fair. Is it? Yeah, I think so. I might, I might try you that. You get that right then. I'll take that <laughs> as a challenge. And um, what's happening for you coming forward then, as well as your album? Are you many gigs coming up? Or any, what are you um, looking to for the future? Well, at the moment, since I just started school, I think we're going a bit easy going. Because of, um, you know, there's a lot going on at the moment. Um, can't, I, can't, I can't think. I do probably have things coming up. But you do so have I a very nice website. I know that. I do I have a very nice website. On, so. I have Facebook. I have Instagram. I post up all the things that I'm doing. Um, but I'm a bit flustered. I just came off stage. Yeah, <laughs> so that's I'm fine. Just How important is social media to what, what, well. what you do in terms of obviously alerting people to, to gigs, but also in, in, in terms of put putting you know, clips of tracks or whole tracks up on there? Well, I mainly use Facebook and YouTube. Obviously, my website is a good place for it um, as well. But um, I, I am on Instagram. Uh, I don't tend to... Th there's a problem with Instagram, and that's the fact that um, it's uh, not really exactly for um, the whole pushing 
you know, mm. people for Apparently it. Facebook have got a new name. We've got to call them Meta from, uh, <laughs> from, from today, the company name. But look, Chloe, thank you ah. so much uh, for, um, for coming up. Uh, thank you. Uh, and for great to see us. Oh, yeah, fab. Really best, best of luck tonight. Yes. And uh, when, the, uh, when the awards are, are announced finally towards the end of the evening, I've wanted to hurry you along. We're quite perfectly happy to chat for the next little while. But we've told that the next uh, band is coming up on stage very, oh. very shortly. Can't so wait. Uh, I know. Uh, well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Right, that was uh, Chloe Lorenzen, who uh, was the first artist uh, who we heard perform uh, this evening, the under 18s uh, winner. So Chloe's got the longest wait of everybody because we're not anticipating uh, the announcements to be made until just after 11 o'clock. We will be there. We are. We are in for the um, yeah, in, in for the long run. Yeah, we've got snacks. We've got drinks. We're here. We've got. We're we're, we're here that for you. And uh, Shamptons are a rock band that formed in Cambridge in 2019, and their sound combines traditional British rock with 90s indie pop. And let's hear them now. <coughs>
coming in a little bit more, a little bit more. Have you not annoyed him? Get on this. Keep forward. Keep forward. It's fine. But I've never seen a better place for them to go on this guitar here. I'm Will. And, um, There's not a lot of whoops for me there. I'm a little disappointed. Sorry, what? <laughs> There's no whoops, whoops for yeah. you. Okay, can we say it again? James on guitar and <laughs> vocals. Thank you, thank you. Really good. This is a new one. It's called Reason Into One. Swimming in my thoughts of home Best of all the friends you've known Don't know if you come or go Let me have some thinking room Wondering if there's space for two Wrong if I was ever right 
left to all the dream of life. I know you're gonna make it try, it's so you fake it. Close my eyes and satisfy the threat that's calling you so thin. Cut it out, let's begin. No, you're gonna make it try it till you fake it. The dream.
Thank you very much. We've been Shambatons. Thank you so much. So that was Shambertons, who were the Heat One winners of the Cambridge Band competition here. And uh, they, of course, because they were in Heat One, Heat One took place in 20. 20 as opposed to 2021 so um, the next uh, heat two we'll hear from pink lemonade in a short while's time as well and they also had their heat last year uh, right now though we're going to be um, uh, well, cambridge do you mind being called a cambridge legend i should i should have checked this with you before you came on you got your facts right there so <laughs> I'm a, I'm, as well as um, having lived in cambridge for 47 years i am uh, also um, i originally came to cambridge uh, to go to the university, and and you got s and you got oh stuck here like so many people do. Uh, isn't it's <laughs> funny, isn't it's it? It's a nice it's place to get stuck. I'm uh, with Kimberly Roo, uh, who you'll know from all sorts of places, I guess. Um, most famous, again, it's a horrible phrase, uh, but of course, as, as the writer, amongst other songs, of Walking on Sunshine, and uh, many of the tracks on uh, on some of my favourite albums as well, if truth uh, if truth be told. And for the Cambridge Band Competition, um, you're behind the the, the songwriting prize. So, oh, and um, well, I, I guess we can reveal as to uh, who the winners are this year. Yes, uh, in a 105 exclusive, we can exclusively reveal, way ahead of anybody else knowing about it, that the winner 
of this year's 2021 uh, songwriting prize is uh, Slather B for Ants. Now we're going to hear, shall we hear a little bit about that now, Don? We've heard, but just, just bring that up and give that uh, um, a bit of, of, of a play. So that's Slava B and their track Ant, and the Slava B are the recipients of the Kimberley Roo Songwriting Prize uh, for, for this year. What, what drew you to that particular track? Discussing his own problems, basically. and um, some, in a way, it's a sort of process piece because, um, like the other songs in the shortlist, were actually all uh, young people discussing their problems uh, in a song. And I'm not saying nobody has problems and they're not worth talking about, but I mean, you've got there's got to be a hell of a good song. If you're going to like put your problems in there and still entertain people, and still kind of give people some sort of emotional lift out of it, and um, I don't think anybody else quite did this. So, in some ways, I'm saying this one's the winner because the others weren't winners. But um, like, I mean, Ants is fun. So, how does it work? Do you are you given a short list where it's whittled down before you get to listen to en to anything? Or uh, the way it works is that I basically do nothing. And then about kind of a day or two before the final, uh, Greg Butler kind of um, says, oh my God, it's the same as in Christ. And um, he says, I'll bring it on, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll get a CD to you. And then I'll say, uh, could you actually send me like 10 emails with an MP3? Because I'm away at the moment. But I can listen to them on my own. And actually, it's good to listen to the um, songs on the radio. In fact, the last Kimberly Root and um, Lou Pearl Ferrand album was actually a mix of the radio. It's a whole other conversation, I guess, really, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you've been doing lots of um, stuff at the plough, haven't you? During kind of lockdown, um, um, was it at the Shepherd? Yeah. Um, the th the, uh, there's a thing called John Wright's Wednesday Session which has been running for 12 years with John Wright and Tony Hill. Uh, Tony Hill sadly um, died this year, but the, the session is still going with John Wright. For a very long time, it was at the boat house in Cambridge. Oh, yeah. Had a really good run there. And then, um, but in the way of what the license trade, I mean, these things change very fast. It's a miracle that most of that long. And um, it came out of the year. And then there was lockdown. And then Lee and I, then Nick Davis at the Clown Shepherd finally took up the bus and went for a long time. The Wednesday session playing strings 
on that site from the MC player, etc. And then finally, the player with the live audience again. And that's where it is at the moment. But it's still going out live on Facebook, online. So you can go along to the player where you can find the Facebook page yeah. and, uh, and take, yeah. take part, part in that. Sometimes somebody else, <laughs> but it's um, uh, it's in those two places. Yeah, yeah and that's part of the players' contribution to um, the music. I mean, they do regular gigs as well, they do gigs. and with the recent demise of the Flying Pig, there's absolutely no people to dedicate the people of the Flying Pig. Uh, um, a player rather sort of stands alone, like a beacon in a general sea of that band. No, no, it's it's it's, 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 it's and all the other things which are against the music. Yeah, no, it is it is very very challenging. Well, well Kim, look, thank you very much for coming to uh, to, to see us. Our, our congratulations again uh, to to to, Sla to Slava B. And they get a check for four hundred pounds. I'm told. Do you, you uh, get, get that to give that to them? the uh, the amount of the songwriting cost. So start writing those songs for next year, yes. kids. Yeah, start now. I think I might uh, see if I can run something up actually do, do the, during the next break. So, uh, uh, Kim, thank you very much for, uh, for, for coming to see, good to see you as, 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 as always. And fantastic. Right, we are just a few moments away uh, from Pink Lemonade. I think we can bring in our next guest now, just uh, ahead of all of that, Shamberton, who you will have heard a few moments ago, just do a, a quick changeover of, uh, of, of microphones uh, here to, might have to, somebody might have to share, so I hope you've all shown your COVID certificates when you came in the door, otherwise it's going to get a little bit, uh, a little bit com compli too. complicated. So we, we also are live on YouTube. We are, we should remind people, so if, you're, if you're listening on the radio, you can actually watch YouTube everybody uh, on, uh, on, on YouTube in our in our set, which looks like Look East in 1992 <laughs> or something something very similar. Uh, guys, thank you very much for uh, for coming up. How, how was the set? It looked pretty good, actually, yeah. from, uh, from from here. Felt good for us, didn't it? Yeah. Now, were you playing songs that you've recently done, or were there old ones or a bit of a mix? Uh, it was a mix, a couple of old ones, and that person did everything about the game. But we're recording that anyway. <laughs> You've had a bit of time to practice, really, haven't you? Because your heat was uh, like way back in, uh, in in 2020. Yeah, we've been working on it ever since. <laughs> <laughs> it's One really song. polished so now, As soon as we yeah. was allowed to, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And then we changed it and changed it again and changed it again and changed it again. Yeah, that's absolutely a lie. It was, it's quite new. No, but it is, yeah, it's, it's weird. It's like it's the start of March, we thought it would be two weeks later. Boy. Completely unrelated to uh, <laughs> two eyes. <laughs> it was a long time. <laughs> I guess there's a you know much talk, much was made of the, the problems that bands had in actually playing playing gigs, but a related problem, quite frankly, is probably getting together and being able to rehearse. How, how did did you manage that at all? Amazing what skills you learn over lockdown, is in that sense. So, what are you working on now, then? You said you've a new album. So, we've got a new EP. We've done three of the songs that we need to do for it. Um, and we're doing four for um, November. Um, we're doing the to one. Um, we've just finished doing a video for one of those songs. So, we're recording a video for the two. Excellent. When, when do we get to see that? Uh, that'll be so we'll be releasing everything. Sounds good. Now, well, we look forward to seeing that. I'm sorry to hurry you along, but um, there are very quick changes between uh, uh, bet between sets, sets tonight. And I think Pink Lemonade are going to be on in uh, just a few moments' time. So, Shambertons, thank you very much for coming to speak to us. Uh, good, uh, good luck, of course. Um, uh, well, thank you for everybody, of course. Good luck with the, uh, uh, with the competition. Hope you uh, come up trumps later on. Uh, we are now going to hear from Pink Lemonade. Uh, we're going to hear from Pink Lemon Tave in a moment or two, because Dom is now shaking his head at me. This so is, uh, can I ask this you is a question? Useful. One more question, guys, while, while we can. Um, uh, oh, no. oh, yeah, well, gigs. Have you got some gigs? I saw your first gig back a few weeks ago. 
media uh, supporting Fred's house, which was absolutely brilliant, I must say. Really enjoyed it. I've got everyone dancing and moving about. When's your next gig then, or have you got some coming up? <laughs> yeah, so we're, we're playing at Brewboard on Saturday. Um, there's three bands on, uh, well, there's Flaming Tune on, and there's um, the singer from Joshua Lee Singer from Marvellous. Brewball, that, that's, that's the brewery around the corner yes. from my mum's place. <laughs> Hope it's not too noisy. <laughs> no, I think I'm sure she'll be fine. I mean, no, nothing too much to worry about there. <laughs> oh, that'll be a good night then. Is that a Halloween type yeah, event? And then we've got a sort of Christmas gig, 11th of December as well. There's some great things coming. Yeah. Yeah. Have you sorted everything from the Yeah, so we've got um, late April, you know, from the year, and we've got Dear Monday as well. Oh yeah, we've pe- yeah, played that music before. Just taking a couple of Christmas songs. Well, so <laughs> uh, what, what are you practicing? It, and it's probably too early. I've, 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 I've <laughs> <laughs> but we're what just what doing the Halloween ones. Then we're thinking yeah. about the yeah, Christmas ones. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I did forget about what we're doing. Christmas light turn on in Campbell as well. So yeah, sorry, I couldn't spot that. Twentieth yeah. uh, Christmas light turn on. And we're playing Night Squad as well. Yes, it's Voodoo Lounge. Wow. See, come on now. You're, you're going to actually out every night. Your family, I think. And where can people find you if they want to hear your music? There's, there's no other Shambertons anywhere. How do you get the name, by the way? <laughs> Everyone has to ask this question. Oh, yeah, I can't answer that. We need we've yes, you can. We've got a pad for time. Of course you've got to answer. <laughs> <laughs> so there, there's a big story. The guitarist came up with the name. It's something about a French wine region that he loves. Plus it's folk song? Spelt with a C and then spelt with a folk song. song. But you also could think up a really different uh, reason why you've got the name, and then you know you could start spraying this wound. <laughs> 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 that's the sort of thing I would do. Yeah, exactly. And then uh, we'll, we'll, you know, no one's heard that now. We'll, we'll, we'll keep that secret, and the next time you say it, we'll, we'll hear that one. I the other thing I like is I've, I've, I've always been impressed by by bands who have the uh, the name on the drum kit. I feel that's that's an that's, that's, that's an essential. <laughs> you've made it there. You've just that's <laughs> that's an, an essential <laughs> item. <laughs> So I painted it on a old face from skin, <laughs> cut it out, and then put the, the, the string on it, and then sort of tie it over, and then put the ink on there, so it's glass can see on it. Uh, oh, that's very impressive. Oh, I like, I like that. You've also talked about UV. I saw your UV drumsticks. Yes. Now they they look very special as well. Just UV drumsticks. Did you see them tonight? Did you? Uh, probably, th- well we were just looking up through the feed, but I saw them when you were playing your yes, gig last they time. they were brand new last time, and I'm wondering if the UV's kind of died down a little bit, so... I give, give it a top up, get the old yeah, uh, exactly. UV paint out, because we've got <laughs> a lot of gigs coming up, so you've got to make sure that yeah, the, the paint is ready. Yeah, but they're very impressive. Well guys, for the second time, thank you very much <laughs> thank uh, you. indeed, Shambertons, and uh, they were the Heat 1 winners, we're going to be hearing from the Heat 2 winners in a moment or two, they're Pink Lemonade, Pop Punk Trio, uh, from Cambridge, Sisti- sisters Frankie and Maddie, alongside uh, Rhiannon, uh, they are heading onto the stage. <laughs> ah, here they are. <laughs> Thanks, guys. A Thank massive, you. amazing lineup of a final. Are you excited for the next band? <laughs> Brilliant. So the winners of Heat Two back in 2020 are were are and are playing next. Make some noise for Pink Lemonade.
So we are Pink Lemonade. This next one is Get Over You. Hit me in the eye, tell me you don't feel it.
Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. This next song is called Breakup Song. It's a bit of an anthem sing along you want if you want to join in. It's got some woos, not many, too many words. <laughs> In my best friend, no, no drama. That you're gone. It's getting me really sick of your Xbox One. She's a profile no relationship. Seeing who's about this, I'm ready to go out. Out, this is my breakup song. I'm gonna sing it all day long. I'm gonna go up while you're gonna grow up. I haven't got time for you. Everyone's had a good time. This one's called Sugar and Spice, and it's about the Powerpuff Girls.
Cause she thought it said it couldn't get along But she'll whip your ass if she wants to And that was Pink Lemonade, who were from Heat 2. Uh, they won that way back <laughs> in 2020. Yeah, probably, probably April last year then. So, yes. And of course, it all came to a, um, a, a shuddering halt. And then they re, re, uh, restarted again uh, a little earlier on in the summer, which means that we can bring you tonight uh, the Cambridge Band Competition. I, I don't know if you call it 2020, 2021. It seems, you know, too much like a football season if yeah, you. Uh, yeah, I think we'll, go, we'll go with 2021 like and just, you know. We just we'll just ignore 2020. Oh. We're also really pleased that we have the 105 ones to watch winners with us. Uh, they are substation, uh, and substation is comprised of. Well, there's usually a few more of us, but uh, today it's me. I'm Harry. I play bass, and then I'm Isaac. I play drums. Uh, who who are the others? We should name uh, check them just so we know. Oh yeah, just so they know that. They're getting shamed for not being here. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, they might be out spending the 100 quid you've won. That's the other That's possibility. Very true. Uh, we've got Lily, who's our singer, Cam, who plays guitar, and Jack, who plays guitar. Okay. Well, tell, tell us a little bit about, about yourselves. Again, you're, you're Barry St. Edmunds based, yeah? Yeah, Barry St. Edmunds based. We were, our heat was last year in March. Um, and then we obviously played the final this year. Unfortunately, maybe didn't win it but <laughs> <laughs> no but but you've won a nice prize yeah, <laughs> yeah not too bad <laughs> and i'm bad. sure you'll get some recognition and and some slots to play elsewhere now when did you first form um well i joined the band earlier on when it was just jack and lily and me and that was when was that was that 20 16 16 17 <laughs> yeah and i was 12 at the time and then you joined us a couple of years later yeah yeah so you've been going five years yeah, then, in, uh, when one in one form or another. And how do you all know e know each other? So we go through Queens Road Studios. So they've sort of boshed us all together, and <laughs> they help us out with sorting gigs and t-shirts and CDs and mm. all these sorts of things. Um, so they're doing more then than just the the, the recording studio oh, thing. When you, you go up, there's sort of you know, more. I don't know ancillary <laughs> services, which they're, all well, which they're, they're they also, also doing. They also let us practice there once a week, which for free, which is not for free which is pretty good um so you can't really grumble too much no i guess, I guess not well, tell us about what, what kind of what kind of sound when you when you're when you're all together playing what do we get um there's a bit of shoegaze in there and there's a bit of what else what do we even I, like like I like shoe i like shoegaze <laughs> it, it varies a lot from song to song because yeah. we've got a, a few real slow ones that 
maybe sing along to and then a few more of which you want to jump around and hit people to. Maybe not hit people. But no, we, we, can't, we can't advise that. Yeah. We have to advise people advise against that. that. At two metres, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's a very good mix. Uh, and in terms in terms of recordings, you you are at the studio. How, have you uh, released anything, be it over iTunes, Spotify, um, or on something even on a CD, maybe? On s well, about when was it? November 2019, we released an EP, the Yellow One, which is um, on CD on Spotify and everything. Um, and then we released like a live EP from when we went to the uh, Suffolk, um, and then. That's pretty much all we've got at the moment. Although yeah. I think we might have some more bits and bobs in the works. I'm, I'm intrigued so. because you know I'm 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 of the CD generation. I remember when they came out and went on breakfast television, spread marmalade on them to prove they worked, and then <laughs> six months later they didn't. Um, <laughs> but you're the, surely you're 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 the streaming age. So why are you producing the CDs? What what sort of is it almost as a means to encourage people to stream the rest of your stuff? A little bit, and it's also just quite nice to have like a physical copy there so that if it, all the streaming stuff does stop at some point you can still say well we had this that we released them this year it's like your favourite TV show on Netflix yeah. you just can't quite trust them because it's not yeah. a Netflix production you can't can't quite trust <laughs> it can't to be there in six months time <laughs> Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I'm guessing as well, having a CD at, at a gig is, is also something that you tangible that you can yeah. give people. Yeah. You know, who just want to go, oh, actually, I'll just do that now. And then that draws them to maybe streaming services. Yes, that's exactly it. And also promoters who, if they want to listen to music, it's easy for them to see that they've actually got it rather than thinking, oh, who's going to listen to yeah. music? Yeah, yeah that's pretty bright in, right in front of you on the uh, on, on, on desk. Yeah push it as hard as we can. Yeah. <laughs> it is interesting at the, ra at the radio station when it came to 105 Radio Studios, we lo you look at the post and there's like a certain set of specialist shows who get CDs sent to them <laughs> regularly, whereas the, the kind of thing that yeah, Alex and myself do. do. So if anyone sends me any CDs, I'm always happy <laughs> for you it. You get a link, just, you know, I'm like just link yeah. down, <laughs> download this from SoundCloud yeah. or wherever. Where, where, where. oh. I think it's getting a bit more towards that way, isn't it? But I think it's just, just, just to have a sort of a purpose. Look, where, where can people, well, not only get the CDs, but where can people see you play next? Um, so we're playing this Saturday in Barry St Edmunds at the Hunter Club. They've got an all day there, which should be a really good fun. That, the Hunter, for those who don't know, outside of town, because the Hunter Club, if you're in Barry, that, that's the place to be. Isn't yeah, it? although unfortunately it is sold out, so no one else can really get to it. <laughs> it's not unfortunate. It's kind of, it's oh, kind of going, I'll have well, a great no, time. If anyone else sure. wanted to come along. I guess it's, yeah. yeah. I guess and and where else can people be able to see you? Um, we haven't got any gigs booked at the moment, um, but we're on Instagram at Substation BSE, and uh, we've also got Spotify and SoundCloud and Amazon Music and all these sorts of things. If anyone wants to see us, and we've sense. got a video on YouTube for one of our songs going Great. Well, we can take, take a look at that. Well, thank you very much for coming up, okay. and uh, also congratulations <laughs> again. <laughs> thank you very, very much. Uh, substation. Uh, thanks, thanks very much, guys. Thank right, you. more more guests uh, are waiting in the wings. Uh, two two out of three so far. Uh, 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 is is Maddie coming too? Bit like dear. Is it? I was going to say that's the very. Just put the microphones right up there. The very. <laughs> A very energetic you are like performance. I just noticed. <laughs> yes, you are. Oh, yeah, we should talk, people. It's on YouTube, everybody. If you're on the Cambridge 105 Hello. Radio uh, YouTube channel, if you want to take a look at that. But we've got two, two thirds at least. Two uh, thirds. Um, so, um, excellent sex. Oh, thank you. Brilliant. And uh, you've got everyone moving and uh, jumping up and down. Oh, that's good. It's good. We can't see the audience too much when the lights are in your yeah. face, so it's good to hear. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, 100% every gig, we love it. <laughs> and have you been performing recently much? Or have you been yeah, we've been doing quite a lot since Excellent. lockdown has ended. 12 weeks. Not, not to count or anything, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been very lucky. I had quite a few lined up. Uh, and Pink Lemonade, I seem to remember, you not come together as a result of being at the AIU all around at the same time? Yeah, yeah, so me and Maddie, who's not here at the moment, so she's my sister. So obviously we've known each other our whole lives. <laughs> and then we met Rhiannon at university in Cambridge. So we came together, so it makes you the missing link, I guess, then, in which, in which, in which so. case. Yeah, sealed us together. Do you stop them arguing, or do they not argue? They don't argue together, oh. for sisters, 
Yeah, yeah, we get on pretty well. Yeah. So it's not, not, bad, not bad going. So th there's a lot of energy behind the performance, and it's not just uh, the playing. I mean, you're, you're on drums, and you're just moving your head from <laughs> side to side. And, um, yeah, there's a lot of good hair, every hair, hit of the drum. hair on the Bit of workout, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it just? <laughs> Who needs the gym? Just play the drums. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we try to move about, you know, it's just good fun. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the, the, the music, you're, you're, who, who's the writer here? It's a bit of all of us, really. Right, okay. Yeah, so what do you do? Do, you, do you one per song or is it a collaborative effort? It's usually, you, well, Maddie probably does the majority, I think mm. we'd agree. She usually, or one of us, comes to band practice with like an idea, a musical idea, so like a little riff or something. Then we kind of build off it together, don't we, yeah. to get the final piece. And then do you then develop over, over, over time or do they pretty yeah, much? Yeah, 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 pretty much develops over time, doesn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. Some of them were like, hmm, don't think that's going to make the cut. <laughs> <laughs> and are you recording any of those or how, how far are you in um, your EPs, uh, albums? How, what are you doing at the moment? Well, we've already got, we've got two singles out and an EP. And then next month we're actually recording... One of the oh, it's exclusive oh. information there. Yeah. It's the second exclusive, <laughs> possibly yeah. the third, with that tonight. They're not doing too badly. Yeah, you're, you're, sorry, you're, what are you doing next month? You're a single. A single. Another, a new single. Oh, very exciting. And then you're under, by sound that you're gigging a lot. Yeah, we have. We've got a lot coming up, so. Okay, what run through the next nice. three for us, then, well, as to where you're going to be? funny that, as we were standing right there, I said, Rhiannon, what's the dates for the next gig? <laughs> If I Maddie like was that. here, Good she'd time. reel them off for you. Yeah. But we couldn't remember. All we could remember is this Saturday at the Hunter Club. <laughs> oh, with Where yeah, our last it's guest yeah, it's, yeah. Sold, it's sold out though, yes. so we yeah, can't we really plug can't it too there. much. Okay. <laughs> website, you must have a website. Uh, we don't have a website, but we're on all the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all the mainstream platforming sites. Yeah. So we're on there at Pink Lemonade Music UK. We post our gig dates on there. So. Okay. I did see on social media at Saturday a wedding. Yeah, Maddie got married. Is that why she's <laughs> run off? <laughs> <laughs> Having gotten married myself a couple of months ago, we could have swapped wedding stories. I'm quite, quite, quite disappointed, really. It's an unusual honeymoon, I feel, being here, but is that, you know... <laughs> yeah, well, they're going to Disneyland Paris. Oh, they they postponed good. it to next week, especially for this gig. Oh, right. <laughs> We, we weren't dedication. allowed to leave the country at the, when Aww. we had a when, when Mr. Yeah. and Mrs. Clover came, came Aww, together. Right? That's a shame. Um, too bad Disneyland. That sounds pretty good yeah. when the... Uh, should be fun. And actually, if Mrs. Glove is listening, she'll probably want to go to Disneyland as well, <laughs> I, 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 I suspect. Well, uh, congratulations then to, uh, to Maddie. And also, uh, thank you very much, guys, uh, uh, Frankie and uh, Rihanna, for coming to, uh, uh, to see us. You have to hang around now, don't you? It's like 11 o'clock to find yeah, out what the judges... <laughs> yeah, a bit of a go and see the other... Yeah, the of, other course, of course, of course. Yeah. Okay. No work tomorrow, luckily. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. That's <laughs> very, it's all right very for <laughs> someone, <laughs> <laughs> say. I'll be back on radio tomorrow at lunchtime. <laughs> 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 You're going to be on the line at lunchtime. Yeah, exactly, it's not exactly. so bad. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Pink Lemonade, thank, thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much indeed. Brilliant set, thank you. Right, uh, we are a few moments away, I think, from uh, the next uh, act. They are uh, going to be Bleed Easy. I should mention to you, um, but it's live radio, and that means that uh, sometimes you might get a bit of swearing, and we're advised that um, uh, bleed easy. There may be a bit of swearing, so if you're offended by that kind of thing, switch off, come back again, and join us in about 25 minutes' time. Uh, we won't we won't tell that uh, uh, you've, you've uh, gone gone and left us. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so um, now we're going to go to Lorenzo Wildcard. We are currently number one on the unsigned chart.
Spencer Wildcard, who was currently number one in the unsigned chart. And if you missed the new music generator yesterday evening, you can catch up with it uh, between four and six on Saturday evening here on Cambridge 105 Radio. Uh, so our next act are going to be uh, coming up uh, in the next few moments or so. Uh, they are Bleed Easy, a Cambridge-based trio who pushed the boundaries of musical genres and uh, were told that there could be some language which may offend. This is our latest release, this song's called Kaiser Sose. Sometimes his father wonders if he's all right. Mentally, mentally, mentally. mentally. Who's fucking alive, people? I want to see some movement. Kaiser Sose. 
The devil ever pulled was convinced in the world he didn't exist. And I'm begging for the power of my heart and the arms that you please. So down with your speed. The monkeys in my head just arrived at the scene. Sunny was found, it was dead in the peak. See no police. Rock rolls, sex, drugs, now I'm on a detox. That old chestnut. Bring my new legs to this goddamn country. Trying to run the roost like Kaiser so Sosa. Of course, I'm going to run to the occasion. Play it. Why did I plan in my invasion? Add another word and I'm planning up the statement. Just to give a fuck, but I'm going to give a lot less. Bring on the Waiting for an encore with damn rules and still walk through no doors and shout love and so fucks. But shit drops for that. Everybody knows that you're insane. That's no reason for a god. Remember everything that you're good. Thank How you. we doing, people? This next song, it's a called Boogie Man. This is an old one. We're about to get shit really fucking heavy in here. We're, so we say, right, you heard like, uh, this is Cambridge Band Competition. I mean, I don't know if you want to count as a band, but we're the same as the Beastie Boys, we're the same as the Prodigy. We're fucking coming in with the heavy shit, and this is it right now. I wanna see everybody put their fucking hands in the air for this one, this is Boogie Man. We're about to shake the floor. Pretty fucking hard as well. Whoops. Nobody foresees what the boogie man brings. Nobody foresees what the boogie man brings. When you're depressed and you're down, now he's chilling on the ground. Now he's chilling, now we're around to steal your bed gown. And then he burns your grand's house down. Time talk, gone broke, bright lights, blow loose, stay tight, right, right, beats heavy, spin mines, love loads and there's love lost, low stuff and I'll shake so I'll we'll take yours and I'll hold hers. Maybe, maybe I'll just call a feeling, maybe, maybe I'll just call a feeling, I'll just call a vibe. Living in the melancholy with my thoughts reside, feeling like I'm in a box, six, six feet deep in the mud. We, we didn't, didn't come for money, but we came for blood. We came for blood. 
Guess what? I'm fucking blasted, mate. Uh, I'm actually not. This next tune. This is some new stuff, man. This is very different to the heavier stuff. We can calm down a little bit. It's gone yeah. too far. <sighs> We're all good. This is called Too Far. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Right, move on. I need you to do me a favour. Phones out. Everyone's got one. Or lighters out. Put them in the fucking air, please. Get them up, people. Get them up. Oi, nice. Get a photo. some noise for Punk Smith on the decks right now. He makes all this music, man. Big up to him. My name is Uncle Arthur. This is Hybrid MP. Check us out on Instagram if you just heard what I said. All right, nice. Oi, whoa, 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 whoa. Look, we all that shit. We all that shit. Who's ever seen Bleed Easy before? Who's never seen Bleed Easy before? <laughs> That's a lot better ratios than I was hoping for, you know? Oi, thank you all for sticking about with us. Big up to all the other bands, and I've got to say a massive thank you to the Strawberry Fair Committee for having us on. Make some noise for them, guys. Yeah. Strawberry Fair means a lot to us, man. We love it, and I'm sure it means a lot to you too, so support when you can. Big up. <laughs> right, now we're going to end the set with a couple of our own songs, mine and Nigel's own songs. And uh, this one's uh -huh. one of mine, unreleased. What are you going to say? This song's called Papillon. We can only do one each, I'm afraid. So this is your last chance to use your energy with us guys, so I want to see you move. Veins, blood knife, when it's praise, no Christ. And now I live by my nightmares. I'm scraping down my wounds like on Papillon. Give me hell, but I've been there. And I came away with every two. Every two. Scraping down the walls like on Papillon. 
Right, people, sing it with me. Oi, 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 oi. That was Bleed Easy. I, I liked the echo that Bleed Easy had at the end of that. I'm wondering if maybe if we get the tech guys here so <laughs> we can uh, uh, we can have the same for ourselves. Uh, so Bleed Easy, they were the Heat 3 winners of the Cambridge Band Competition. Actually the first of the artists who we've heard tonight who were in the Heats this year because yeah. the, uh, the previous two acts, uh, Shamberton's um, Pink Lemonade. Yeah, uh, they, uh, they um, certainly made the room move. I think they. I think they were definitely the the loudest I've heard so far. Yeah, no, I I I, I think so too. Anyway, hopefully we'll be able to have a chat with uh, Bleed Easy. Uh, they've not, not too much gear on stage really, so it shouldn't take them too long to uh, uh, make their way up to us. Head of that though, uh, we are joined by the chair of the judges for the Cambridge Band Competition, uh, Justine Hatfield. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Well, that's a big responsibility, isn't it? <laughs> I guess it possibly is. How many of you are there all together on the judging panel? Uh, there's about seven of us this evening, I think. Okay. Um, yeah. and well, we know them. I'm sure we probably will, won't yes, we? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. They're all, uh, they're all very uh, respected people in the music are they are World they are they revealing Cambridge. their identities or are they uh, they, they keep them get un <laughs> under wraps just in case? They yeah they may be a little bit shy. Oh but bless uh, them! <laughs> it's like Eurovision. Nobody wants to admit to being the judges <laughs> of that now any, any anymore either. What what do you think of the overall standard though of what you've what you've heard so far tonight? The competition this year is is it's it, there's something very special about it because it's spanned all this awfulness and it started before the awfulness and it's kind of completed after the awfulness so we 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 have a, a, a kind of one of the most um difficult to judge years i think we've ever had You've got There's a really big range of music yeah, haven't you and yeah. i mean it's they're all great in their own genres so, so I, I yeah how i i don't envy you <laughs> no no and it's it's no mean feat i have to say but uh it's an exciting year and there's a lot of there's a lot of really amazing. I just want to stand back actually and realise how much talent there is out yeah. there and uh, in, in, in and around Cambridge. Cambridge is a is an amazing place music-wise. It's a hotbed. There is definitely a kind of vibrant scene going on, and and there's a lot of people who are really trying to make it work out well, there, what do you so. think the factors are behind that you know obviously we've got the folk festival but only a you know a, a handful well, of the artists yeah. tonight could really be described as being from, from from the folk persuasion i think i think as soon as as soon as there's enough elements that are passionate about music it builds and i think right. it builds it attracts other people and then you end up with this kind of it kind of escalates into something wonderful and uh, I suppose we saw that with, with Pink Lemonade, whereas the two sisters who went to the ARU and picked up band n member number number three, and then it all came together for them. Pink Lemonade is so much fun. They're just Aren't they great? They, they, they move they the heads. Absolutely. <laughs> they, they're a tonic. They're absolutely, they raise just your soul. It's a bundle of energy, aren't yeah, they? Really, they're brilliant. Really very they're positive absolutely as well. Fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, the competition here, there's going to be, uh, every, am I right in thinking everybody who's performed tonight gets to appear on stage somewhere at, at, at Strawberry, Strawberry Fair, Fair. Yeah, and yeah, on yeah. the Strawberry Fair main stage for our, for our overall winners, whoever they may be. Yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. The band, the band competition stage is, yeah, exactly where we showcase what a brilliant band con we've had and what amazing talent we've seen. So, mm. yeah, everybody here tonight has won their heats and should be incredibly proud of themselves it's just 
yeah, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful night. Yeah, no, ab 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 absolutely. And of course, Strawberry Fair will be back next year, having you know two years uh, not been there. So it's, it's exciting. It's going to be a really it's special one for exciting. that as well, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I know myself going to any live gigs now. Everyone in the room, you can feel the mood in in the room. We need it. For, uh, we need yeah, it. It yeah. gets very emotional because, you know, who knew back in back in those days that this was suddenly all going to be taken away from us? And it uh, didn't seem possible. No, no, no quite. And presumably that means there are bands who would have appeared um, at the last Strawberry Fair who haven't had their chance to do so. Are we well, are, are we missing a set of bands, or no, did they did that no, all work because out? Because we only we oh, only managed to do two. We did two heats. Right. Who are both yeah. honoured in this final? Okay. So yeah, no, no, no one has so won this, a heat and who isn't going to This is get good. To play. This, yeah. this is this is the uh, the yeah. top news that we that, that we need <laughs> need need to know. Yeah, they will all be. I mean, Pink Lem Lemonade and the Shambertons were the winners of the two heats that mm. were there before the fan comp was closed down because of COVID. So they're here tonight and they're yeah. doing a grand job. No, and, and fabulous <laughs> to have it up and running again. Yeah. Now, we were we thought we should ask you, this has been a very sad week in for music and Flying Pig having to close down. Sure. Um, how are you feeling now? <laughs> or is it a silly thing to <laughs> ask, really? I'm, I'm completely devastated. I'm really, I'm just, I'm heartbroken. It's, it's a very sad week and it's been difficult. But it's, uh, we've had an, uh, the most amazing 24 years in the Flying Pig and... Uh, yeah, the last week has been an incredible show of emotions in the community. Um, yeah. I don't think there's any. I don't think there's any. Um, I don't think there's any difference of opinion that the flying pigs should be there forever. <laughs> but that's not the way it works. That's not the way it works. So we'll move on, and maybe down the line something else will come up. Maybe the giant. Fat like a giant phoenix. We'll do, you, do you have plans? You know, whatever, whatever they may be, and you may not want to tell us. We but really don't. We really don't. And we're um, our most important focus is finding somewhere to live. And we've done that now. So, uh, in Cambridge, we don't need the address, but you know, we're not going to pop yeah, around for coffee yeah, or anything. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, no, so you're, you're no, able to stay, stay local. To be, be yes. Place. But yeah, what what happens next? Venue wise, music wise, we'll keep you posted because you know something needs to. Yes, yeah, <laughs> no, it is interesting. We, we were chatting amongst ourselves about other other music venues, of which there are a few. There's yeah, there's the wonderful yeah. story stories feel, but that's it's a lovely yeah. place, but a little bit out yeah. of centre. Yeah. Um, you've got tall trees, which yeah. has um, yeah. sprung up literally and figuratively in recent weeks, but that's mm. quite a small venue. But again, so was the it's Flying new Pig. It's exciting, and we mm. wish them well. We wish them well. I think it's, you know, I'm glad they're there. It's yeah. Now there are some talk of, of uh, um, I know in the Independent this week, from uh, Craig. Craig Bennett. Yes, yeah. who's trying to kind of mediate some sort of way round it. So there is some talk that they, I know it might be only small hope, but there might be something that, that perhaps, or if you just kind of, well, you can't well, really hope. We've never, we've never refused to Talk. discuss yeah. what what the possibilities what the possibilities could be for the future. But so far, we haven't had any conversation about that in regards to the flying pigs. So yeah, I think fingers crossed. We, you know, <laughs> the community wanting it. Yes, and they it really do. There's no the community that doesn't want it. This yeah. is the, the, the crazy part. And of a it. huge thank out to the community for how amazing they've been and how they've. They've kept us going. They've pulled us up and cheered us up. And yeah, we've had the best couple of weeks. I even sang in the pub last week. That's how bad it got. Justine, thank you so much uh, for chatting pleasure. to us. So you better luck. go, I guess, and decide upon who the. Wait, you've got how many more to go now? What you go? Three more to go. Awesome. They're also right. they're all so, so good. good. It's yeah. a really amazing. That's, that's the worst. What a it's, final. A good, it's a good problem. Isn't <laughs> it? It's a good problem. To it have. is a good problem to have. Yeah. Uh, Justin Hatfield, uh, forever uh, the landlady of the Flying Pig, and uh, and this evening chair of the judges at uh, the Cambridge Band Competition. Thank you for uh, stopping by. Uh, thanks very much, uh, Justine. We're going to um, do a microphone changeover now. It's always fun. We're going to uh, introduce. Uh, members of uh, Bleed Easy, who you've heard a moment or two ago. Do you want to um, 
somehow share in a, in a COVID safe kind of way between the, uh, <laughs> uh, between the, th the, th the three of you. I like putting my beer next to your laptop. Isn't no, it? Don't, yeah, yeah, we <laughs> put it on the floor. <laughs> yeah, just long as, the, long as the beer doesn't end up on the no, keyboard. No, no, it's, I think it's done fine. there nice and safe <laughs> on the floor. Okay, that's normally my job doing that. Um, <laughs> we'll keep it away, mate. Don't yeah, worry. thanks. Right, uh, fleet easy. Let's introduce all of you so we know who everybody uh, is. So my name's Uncle Arthur. I'm Hybrid MP. And I'm Punch Fisher. I They're not our real names, if you can guess it. Well, I did, I did, <laughs> really? I did wonder yeah. about that. The guy who presents our blues show, his name is Gary Blue, and I'm convinced that isn't his real name either. He'd so. be a lucky man if he was. Yeah, yeah wouldn't it be? He's yeah. in the right <laughs> game. Yeah, yeah. How did you all come together? How, how, did, how, did, uh, how did Bleed Easy come together? Well, we actually all grew up in a small village called Ogre. We all actually went to school together as well. So, and me and Connor were also in a band when we were younger called The Varsity. Um, and yeah. Ben, ben, yeah, he sort of developed Bleed Easy about two years ago. Me and him just started working on some music because he was a drum bass DJ. And the Sabotage Audio, our record label, started off as a drum bass events promotion in Cambridge. And he was the uh, key DJ within that. So then uh, basically we stopped doing the drum bass stuff. They split off to another group. And now Sabotage is basically us three pushing yeah. our own individual right. music. So, so you, you can kind of, sort of trace, if you like, the mu musical heritage uh, between Varsity and, 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 and what you're doing now? Yeah, yeah, a little yeah. bit. I mean, mine and Nigel's vocals are a little bit similar still, I guess. But I mean, the music wise is a lot more electronic based more now, obviously. It's not you know. a blend of energy, the energy. Yeah, sort, sort of, of like hip hop mixed with um, metal, metal yeah, sort of metal influences. And yeah, stuff. so there's like a little bit of everything in there for everyone. That's kind of what we try and go for. Yeah, the set is like it'll go from the sort of like electronic stuff that sounds a bit like metal to like a housey style track. You know, we just want to try and switch it up so it's a little bit different for everything, but mostly bringing energy the whole time. That's the sort of main thing that we try and push. Uh, and how how does it come? Is it almost? No poetry set to music insofar as you're coming up with the, the words with what you want to talk about and, th and then the music comes in or, or, how, or, or do you know, sometimes I think, I think do it the, the other music, way around? I think the music is often made first and then we sort of what type of beat it is will depend on how we sort of go about the track because Ben, like me and Ben are big metalheads so sort of there's that influence to the certain types of beats but then Nigel's very much on the hip hop, rap yeah, so I like flows, and I like intricate flows, I like, yeah, and she more chill beats sometimes. So it's sort of, um, I, I don't know, in answer to your question, it just depends each time. Sometimes we might write the lyrics in advance, sometimes it might be the beat, sometimes it might be that we've got lyrics and Ben's got a beat and they just happen to work together. It just yeah. depends on each time. I kind of think of the way that sort of Elton John and Bernie Torpid wrote yeah, their yeah, songs. Yeah, yeah, that's basically exactly what it's like. You had Bernie <laughs> up in Lincolnshire, Elton would write him a song and yeah, like yeah. it would come back with some lyrics attached well, to it. Well, ours are, because we're so close to each other, it's all very much, we work with each other. So like it'll, we, we would practice every Wednesday and then and like every single Wednesday we will Either go away, make something, yeah. and then bring it back to the table. Like that, we've got podcasts, and we, we just catch up all the time. So, so you, you all at school together. Yeah. So yes. you really have grown up through through everything. Together. Yeah, and also the same village, so we know yeah. like well, all the same people from you know, like you know everybody on the street sort of thing. We are sort of all know each other. Well, you personally. say it's a little village. Uh, Over is, is quite well known, and yeah. I did my first teaching practice in Over. Oh, did so you? I might have been done it at your school. There you, you go. Might you might. Well, well, which, which school? Which school? Over school primary, primary school. school. Over yeah. primary. Yeah. 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 That's the only one. Yeah. That's yeah. There. One two. Oh really? You might have done. I'm not going to ask how long ago it was because that's yeah. not, not nice. Years I was going to say. Well, that was nearly 20 years ago since we were in that position, so I don't know whether or not that's. Yeah, I Probably think I might yeah. have just missed you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> obviously so. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, it's lovely though that you you say you've stuck together all that long, and and then obviously you have similar um, experiences of life. Yeah, yeah, that's and, it. And that you can bring that into your music. Hundred percent. Yeah, we were definitely planning a kangaroo hill track at some point. Kangaroo hill track. Some dirt like jumps. We used to go. Yeah, we used to go to like first pl first place I ever got like drunk. John Boy, first time I made a lot of your <laughs> That's Kangaroo Hill. Many that memories friendly? come from that place. <laughs> yeah, so that's like our little, the, where everyone used to go that was younger from our area. So one day we're going to make a song about that, keep it to the, to the like, local name. It's an there. interesting thing because you know, if, you're, I know, if, you, if you're in a city, London, you get a different set of experiences to what you might do in a in a village in South Cambridge or whatever happens. Yeah, you know, and I think the people that you know mutually as well, there's a less likely chance if you lived in East London or something compared to what you know, yeah. we all, there's only so many people in our village, you know, so we all sort of know the same people, but obviously, like, <laughs> the stuff that goes on in Nova is nothing like what we do, no, so we get yeah. those looks from people like, what are you doing, sort of thing, yeah. you know? In Cambridge, like, it's, it's only come away every year, like, the years and stuff like that, so like, a lot of, like, drum and bass influence come from there. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it's all mixed, sort of, from our, I guess, 
where we grew up, but also our tastes and what we like, you know. But look at Ben in his tartan trousers, because it says it all. Uh, do you know what? I love a bit of tartan. Oh, I know. You're thinking favorite. Bay City Rollers. Yeah, well, no, no, I'm not thinking. <laughs> no, they've got the zip <laughs> song, not Bay City Rollers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not up there singing Shang Lang. Yeah, no, they've got. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, you kind of answered the question, something I was going to ask, and that's in so much as the the hip hop scene around around Cambridge is where do you go? Yeah, well, I know. I mean, it used to be rock. The UK hip hop scene in Cambridge used to be bang on, but we don't really associate ourselves straight up with UK hip hop. We sort of take all, like we said, it takes all the other influences. So if we went on a UK hip hop night, there's maybe one or two tracks that might fit in, but a lot of the other stuff that we do wouldn't necessarily fit in there. But then, so that's why we found ourselves. That's why we joined the band competition. Because it's, it's taking nothing else like away from the hip hop scene. We just, yeah, we just like to just touch. Different genres, so we can have to stick to this sort is of one sense. of the things. At one point, I was sitting where you're sitting now, in front of in front of the laptop, trying not to spill anything on it, yeah. and the floor was vibrating. What when we were playing? Yeah, yeah. Your track. yeah, yeah, mission accomplished. Everything we actually actually said that was what we were going to do during okay. the set. You, you, you achieved it. You yeah. absolutely Good. achieved it. And we have to apologise if there was any uh, absurdities. Yeah. Uh, you need to make my speech about no, there not being a watershed on the radio. But, but then another <laughs> another another one was really chilled out. You yeah, know, that's really yeah. stripped strip, strip back. Yeah, so yeah. And, and that's the kind of genre crossing which presumably yeah, you're talking really exactly. about. Exactly. So we'll have this the more heavier stuff, which is sort of, I guess, like the whole image that we go for is heavier stuff. Um, but yeah, the the we have the odd soft track, I guess, and there will be more to come. That's okay. more the direction well, sure. we're pushing in. Well, look, guys, thank you very much uh, for stopping by. We need to um, catch up with our next uh, onstage band Amazing. now. But uh, hang around. Hope you might win something, maybe. Yeah. Thanks so end much, of the guys. Thank you guys so for, thanks for having us on your show. You're, ve you're very welcome. Thank you very um, much, guys. Uh, the winners of uh, Heat Three bleed easy. We're going to have our next artist. They are the winners of Heat Four. They are. Uh, the routine, um, Alex. You'll remember them as I do under uh, a couple of abstracts. earlier guises, the yeah. abstracts. So um, well, some of them as the abstracts. Well, some of them abstracts. They were the abstracts, yeah. and they've kind of regenerated Doctor <laughs> Who style into the routine. <laughs> and uh, we're going to take the TARDIS down now to the stage of uh, Cambridge Junction and take a listen.
It's okay, you don't have to pretend. One small step from falling apart, and I know it's hard. You got to move on, you got to change your house, change your clothes, and I know it's hard. When you're on your own, seems to be a life for bigger shows, and I swear it gets longer each time you ignore. Truth in the facts, the stab in the back, but the biggest time you stop holding it back. Woo! Seems to be a life for bigger shows, and I swear it Hope you're 
Spirit for a good evening, everyone. Just want to slow it down for you. Well, I know you can't stay because you're all alone, and I know it's hard, but you got to move on on your own. Well, I know you can't stay because you're all alone, and I know it's hard, but you got to move on on your own. tonight yeah you can do better than that come on yeah that's it can you also give a shout out for the bands that were on before us <laughs> very nice <laughs> that first song i'm absolutely knackered and running <laughs> everyone was like don't run you you'll fall over it worked out i think it was all right <laughs> if none of you haven't heard us we have a routine Find us on Spotify, Amazon Music, all sorts of places, Apple. And whilst you're there, if you're going to fancy listening to some of the music, please go and like us on our social media pages at We Are The Routine. And also, if you fancy looking a bit more sharp, all of you do look a bit sharp anyway, but if you fancy looking extra sharp, we've got some lovely t-shirts over there. There's a few sharp people in the crowd. You've got Stacy there. Yes, if you want to look as good as Dace. And there's another person. Who was his name? Joe. Where's Joe? I can see Joe somewhere. There you go. <laughs> if you fancy looking as good as those two, please go and buy some stuff. This next song's called Too Many Times. Hope you enjoy it.
And that was the routine um, performing at the Cambridge Band Competition 2021. And they've gone. Excellent. Right. Um, <laughs> this is Cambridge 105 Radio, our coverage of the Cambridge Band Competition 2021. Julian Clover and uh, Alex Elbro. We've got two more artists to bring you before we uh, find out who the winner is of the 2020 2021 uh, competition. Uh, we're going to be hearing next from Jenum, who is a singer-songwriter 
and musician. The three kind of go together. Originally from Manchester, now uh, spending quite a bit of her time in London. And uh, finally, Strawberry Lace uh, is uh, going to um, finish things off. After which, sometime between, we think between about 11 o'clock and quarter past 11, uh, we're going to be hearing uh, who the final winner is of the competition. I'm not sure how um, they're going to do that on seven artists who are all very different in, in their styles. That's the challenge, isn't it? I, uh, it <laughs> and different people, I guess, will have, however, presumably they set down some criteria uh, for, ev for everybody, but exactly how ev the... Uh, about half a half dozen or so judges. Yeah, so uh, actually, <laughs> go for that. Is, is another. It matter. might be the uh, smoke out of the roof at some point because uh, if there's seven judges and there's seven bands, uh, what if they all do, you know, oh, like the, the split pope. vote exactly? Yes. We might have to wait until we see the white smoke come smoke, out. The top white the smoke comes out the top. Junction. I mean, the, a chip <laughs> pan fire perhaps at uh, <laughs> at Five Guys. Um, a couple of other ones to announce. We heard earlier, of course, the 105 ones to watch uh, substation. And also um, Slava B taking Kimberly Rue's uh, songwriter's prize, but Planet Fatal uh, are the best rock act um, in the in the competition. There's various other uh, prizes and which are being announced from time to time. Gen M has also won the best acoustic act of the competition, and she just received her prize, and she'll be playing next, I believe. Right. What we'll do, well, uh, but whilst we hopefully uh, get to speak to the routine in a short while's time, we'll take a little uh, piece of music.
Dance and All I Need. They were winners uh, back in 2016, so an amazing five years ago. Remember, they had coats. Do you remember that? Coats. I remember at seeing them at uh, Strawberry Fair and um, looking at them. It was so hot. It was a very, very hot day. I remember <laughs> big luck for us. Thinking, thinking that, you know, it's all very well to have a good stage, but with a big fur coat and that when I'm a really, really top day. But, yeah, <laughs> not, not good at all. Look, let's introduce our, our next guest. They're fresh from uh, the stage. Well, they've performed their set of the routine. Hello. Ooh. Um, but we, we possibly know you under, or some of those who haven't uh, caught up with what uh, the you've been, been up to. You basically, basi I say you were the abstract, so that's a sweeping statement, which yeah. isn't entirely correct, but um, yeah. um, you, uh, you were in the abstract. Yes, yes, yeah. so three of us were, and uh, yeah, so we started uh, the routine back in, um, what, November 2019 with yeah, Liam? 2019. Mm. Um, yeah, it was yeah, really, really, really good, and um, yeah, obviously same challenges as everyone else right it's difficult yeah. starting a band kind of and then going into lockdown and um and all that stuff but it's fortunate like we live in a time where you know you can file share and do all that stuff so we, we were actually quite productive M musically thing. was you know part of the intention other than new personnel to make a clean break to maybe yep. go off and do something just ever so slightly different or maybe a lot different musically yeah i mean for for me for sure it, it, it definitely was like um i think you know it, it, it's it's his own band it's its own thing you know our own songs with this and um yeah we've had we've had success previously and stuff and um this is this is a new chapter which we're really excited about and um you know it's, it's going really well so far so i don't know if you've got anything done I don't know. It's <laughs> certainly, certainly <laughs> different. Um, <laughs> certainly different from what you've done in the past, um, which is, I suppose, is nice and fresh for you guys. Um, but yeah, but boring for you, right? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm well, hearing. How does it feel, you know, be being if you like the I must have the cuckoo in the nest, but there's certainly yeah. the, the 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 newcomer within a band, <laughs> which has in various forms played together for. How long now, guys? Too Five? long. <laughs> Too long. <laughs> we've yeah, we've been doing it since we were 16. Yeah, and I'm old enough that I struggle to tell people my age now um, when asked how old I am. So yeah, I guess as well, like it's it's sort of something for us to aim for now because obviously I'm coming in new and I know what success you've had in various uh, um, versions of different bands. So it's for me, it's just trying to get back to the same levels that you were at with previous bands, but with this new band, basically, it gives something to aim for. But you in bands y yourself as well, yeah, previously. Yeah, yeah, but again, it was sort of different different genres. I, I bounced around from like country music to jazz and heavy metal and all sorts of stuff, and I sort of just landed in... There's quite a few conflicting <laughs> different yeah, genres well, I mean, there. I've, I mean, if you looked at my playlist, it's got all sorts in there from... You know, Earth, Wind, and Fire to Slipknot, and <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's just one of those sort of things. Like, I've got no preference really. Um, I think the main thing for me is more the connections that you have with the people in the bands, and it certainly hasn't been the same connection in other bands than with this one. So it's certainly been a lot better. Do you find that important that you you need to get on? I think massively. Yeah, massively. I think if you can't, I think it go shows if you, if you don't. If you can't go and have a drink and just have a laugh outside of band, yeah. I think it's one of the sort of things you can definitely see that people don't have that chemistry on stage. Whereas, like, you know, you go and play a show tonight and you can see we're all having a laugh with each other, just giggling with each other. I turn around and Mark's beaming his face off or, you know, <laughs> Ben's having a little chuckle to himself. And it's one of those sort of things It's just, like, you can't mimic that. Yeah. So to have it off stage yeah. is just important when you're on stage. Sort of and thing. You're, you're together so long. And, and I guess if, you're t if and when you're touring, you know, it obviously it hasn't been recently, but n now when you s can start touring and you need to get on with people, don't you? Because you, you certainly sure, learn their yeah, habits yeah. of not. Definitely, it's it's important, right? And y the creativity stops flowing if you if you don't. And and I think things like this are good because you you know kind of <coughs> it's something you experience together. Like you see a lot of you know different stuff, and um, that that stuff you can kind of take and then you know put those experiences, put that you know, kind of thing into uh, your own your own doings, as it were, so yeah. So y you s you're very like me. I have a very eclectic uh, music taste, and I, I yeah. I, there's all sorts on my thing, and sure. I love that people do that. But I think that's also good, because doesn't that bring different things into your own music? Massively, yeah. definitely, yeah. I mean, we've, 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 we've all got such different sort of various tastes in music, and I think this sort of shows in what we end up with. 
because yeah. you know Ben Taylor's a lead guitarist. He's very into indie. I'm into sort of old school rock and roll, I suppose, Narcos as well. And you know, you're into. <laughs> no, <sort of laughs> no one knows what I'm into. <laughs> yeah, I don't, don't really even know what I'm into. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I think it sort of shows wh- when I. It's one of the sort of things when I try and tell people what genre we are. Yeah. It's hard to really explain what genre we are, really, because we're, it's sort we're of one like of those bands. It's it's which I sort of I always sort of tell myself it's nice because it sort of sets yourself apart from other stuff because yeah. I can't really say oh d- you know do you know this band we sound like them yeah you know it's d- it's just like you have to listen to it for you to sort of come up with your own sort of <laughs> version of it I suppose but which I suppose is good and presumably different people see different things or hear different things when <laughs> yeah definitely uh, when, yeah. when they listen yeah definitely and it's uh, I, I do get a lot of like conflicting um, sort of um, opinions on the music whether that be just like the lyrics, for example, someone comes to me and says, oh, I think the song's about this, or it's actually, no, it's about... <laughs> I wouldn't tell anyone what it's about, but it's funny hearing like that. And But people take it different ways. Mm. You know, something people think, oh, that's a really sort of like melodic song. And I I guess to me, I sort of don't see it like that. But if that's what they want to see, I don't know, great. You know, it's whatever people want to see it as, really. That's, uh, that's a good story. I've heard that from... So Tracy Thorne from Everything But The Girl. I don't know whether you know sure. off with her. She she tells the same story that they get fans coming up saying we've listened to Missing mm. which is one of yeah. the big hits. I you know I know it's about this this and that and that. She says oh yeah that, okay, if that's what it means to you that yeah, you know, exactly. in the politest way possible but that really wasn't what we wrote yeah, about I at mean, the time. Well it's, it's, it's personal cool, isn't it yeah. music it's personal yeah. and that's that's the beauty of it that's you know the the fact that you know L- Liam writes a lot of the lyrics but him writing the lyrics you know it means something completely different to me. Yeah. And all this, so it's it's the beauty. Of it really I sort of think of if it's a it's a good song when other people can relate to yeah. it. Um, you know, I think there's been a few songs where people can go, oh yeah, that you know that that applies to me. And it's, you know, I think that's when it starts becoming a bit more sort of everyone's song as opposed to just the band's song. I sort of thing. I think that's when you sort of get it out there and people sort of take it on as their own, which is when you sort of come up with a decent song, really. So now, generally speaking, that we are sort of out of out of lockdown. What's what's your plan? As oh as gosh. a band, is it is it in the studio at recordings? Is we it have. Um, I mean, we've out got on the road. We've got such like a backlog of songs. Yeah. So and we've we've tried to sort of come up with like a bit of a plan for it. You know, main goal is just keep gigging as much as possible. We increase our fan base on like social media. Get more people coming to the shows. For yeah, you know, they're definitely festivals. Um, and just sort of you know keep enjoying it really. And touch wood that you know nothing happens again where we're stopped from doing it mm. uh, but we just want to keep going on the same trajectory as we are now mm. really because I feel like in such a short space of time we've done really well for ourselves and I'd, I'd say yeah, half sure. of that time was in a lockdown for sure. you know whether we were doing stupid videos to try and gain followers <laughs> you know <coughs> it was just mm. like you know trying to come up with wacky ideas some things didn't work some things do work it's just all sort of trial and error really but for me you know and I think the same for the other guys we just want to keep keep going and yeah. keep writing better songs improving ourselves we have we have got like some new stuff coming out uh hopefully 12th of november so there'll be a new single out so the last song we played today complicated no show will be released as a single with uh rest as a an acoustic which is the song. first song we played but it'll be acoustic the version. Song, it'll be acoustic um but yeah there's plans to go back into the studio early next year you know like liam said we've got we've got that kind of backlog of I mean, like 20, 30, 30 songs, 40 yeah. songs like, that we were, we that, were working That feels a great number. I, I'm, I'm thinking, actually, I'm thinking of one local artist in particular, and I won't say who it is for reasons which will become apparent. And I've seen them perform over a period of time, and I swear they only have six, possibly seven songs. <laughs> um, right, where at yeah. the other end of the scale, you've got... Um, a tremendous, you know, you've got yeah. a double album and the rest. I think yeah, for like this gig <laughs> as well, we 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 spent so long trying to figure out what the best configuration of the songs were because it's so hard to sort of think like we have quite a lot of songs and we you know we've probably got two sets worth of songs nearly I suppose. Yeah. Um, it's good to mix it up, uh, you know, and it's it's one of the sort of things. It's nice to be in a position where you can pick and choose which ones you're stronger ones and which ones you you know you aren't really. Yeah, well, enjoy the performance today. Yeah, uh, very much. Really Thank good you. to uh, you know to be able to chat with uh, you again. So likewise. Uh, Ben, Liam, Mark, uh, thank you all very much for uh, uh, for coming up to see us. Thank you very much. Yeah, cheers, cheers guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks cheers. very much Thanks. indeed. Right, they were collectively uh, the routine Heat Four winners. Just heard there said we're going to go back again now. I think to uh, the stage. Next artist, the winner of Heat Five, a singer songwriter. Her name's Jenham. Right, my name is 
Ken Jennett and his first one, the new one. This is called Why Do You Love Me? Cambridge 105 Radio, live from Cambridge Hello. Junction. It's coverage of Cambridge Band Competition at 2021. You were honest and kind, a genuine type. Your smile is contagious. I'm in love with your mind. Now you don't care what anybody else is thinking. And it grows with time. This feeling's inside. I blew my birthday wishes. I know we use those three words a lot. Never seen this stop. Tell each other why so. Why do you, why do you love me? It's in my body. Why does it go way, way deeper? Give me a reason. Why do you, why do you love me? I'm a little true, my being and the best kept secret. I'm still yet to learn. Why do you? Do you love me? Let's get a clap. It's in my body. Yeah. You go way, way deeper. Give me a reason. So that was a new one called Why Do You Love Me? It's coming out next year, and uh, this is one that you can already find everywhere if you enjoy it. This is Laughing Clouds, and uh, there's a little bit of a, a part for you guys if you want to join in. It goes, hey, hey, and then a hey, something like this. Hey, hey. Hey. Anyone want to join in, feel free. Hey, hey. Keep that going. Hey. Talk about misery, but I see it's all differently when the raindrops fall. It's not said at all, just that the sky is laughing too hard. And the water rushes down from all those laughing clouds. Hey, hey. Just up, faces right up above, head on and graces so where is it, Lord? Why do they 
talk about depressing weather when I'm back down on the ground the plants feel better Is down from all those laughing clouds. Hey, hey. Those days, not living with lies that we're building. When the rain drops fall, it's not said at all. Just that the sky is laughing too hard, and the water rushes down from all those laughing clouds. Hey, hey. Everyone wants to hey, hey. how's the time? for a bit of keys. Now, uh, this is a song of my EP, Skyline. It's called Let Myself Go. And uh, if you enjoyed the song, if you're old-fashioned and like CDs, um, like me, then uh, you can grab some of the merch stand. Check out all the cool merch um, that they've got over there as well with the Strawberry Fair stuff. Um, I recommend grabbing some. I'm going to myself, uh, get myself a mug. And if you want a coaster to go with that, I also have some of, uh, some of those. So <laughs> feel free to grab yourself one. Hope you enjoy it. Precious of the world Impressions of She says a girl childhood dream wanted to be a painter wanted to be a star but moving through the ages try to put his dreams to bed protect the one I want to follow that's the one they're after now child of spirit again finally showed out with the fear in my head I jumped in love for ages and I just didn't care I got so tired of waiting for approval from out there remember what I loved when I was young remember that I choose what I
Thank you. Here's another one off the EP. This is called You Got Us. It's got a bit of a mm, if you fancy umming along. I've actually got a couple more songs for you, a couple of short tunes. This one's called uh, Storylines, and uh, it's the final one I'm going to play off the EP. So once again, if you do like that, you can find it everywhere. My name is Jenem, J-E-N-E-M, um, and yeah, I hope you're all having a great evening. Are we having a great evening? Yeah, that's what we like to hear.
dark and the silence between each breath. Behind every set of eyes, oh, there's a thousand story lies. I will let you tell me one or two. Behind every set of eyes, oh, there's a thousand story lies. As I look into your eyes, I like to write some with you. tune to finish with. But thank you so much everyone for coming out tonight. Thank you to the Cambridge Band Competition, Strawberry Fair, and everyone who's made this possible. And like sound, you know who you are. Thank you. All right, one quick, oh, no. We good? One more or no? One more, one more. We good? It's a very quick song. I promise, it's only two minutes. Literally two minutes. Two minutes long. All right, this is called Hate to be Wrong. Didn't know the half of it Never thought it brought me flowers Too much of the rap wine Not enough talking out Caught up in a good vibe Not enough future proof Thought he was the last guy I know I saw the truth We were friends, reached the end of our time together Only to stick it out when it wouldn't be forever If I look a little sad, there's only gonna be one reason why Said, is it cause your heart's broken? I said no, they said is it cause you open them? Not even plus I'm afraid to move on, hell no I just say I hate to be wrong Thought it was the one I just say I hate to be wrong Thought it was the one I just say I hate to be wrong We were opposites, while they do a trap Polar opposites, so we fell right off track We wanted late nights, no day nights And I needed affection we were friends, reached the end of our time together. No need to stick it out when it wouldn't be forever. If I look a little sad, there's only gonna be one reason why. I said, Is it cause your heart's broken? I said, No, they said, Is it cause you open? I'm not even close. I'm afraid to move on, hell no. I just say, I hate to be wrong. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Have a great night.
And thank you to Jenham, who was our penultimate performer of the Cambridge Band competition uh, this evening. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I, I'm, I'm hoping she'll come up and have a chat with us uh, shortly because then uh, we can find out a little bit more about the setup that uh, she had there. G guitar and keyboard, but well, yeah, we were trying to work out whether she had a, was well. it a theremin we were trying to see. I don't think she has. She hasn't got one, but we were discussing whether she had well, one. Hopefully, we'll find uh, out a little bit a few more. Few drumsticks uh, go along later as well. on. I, I was looking through the list of past winners, which we'll be adding to uh, just after eleven o'clock. Uh, this evening and if we go back well we played at the top of the show uh, Grassroof who were the winners in 2019 but of course no competition last year but go for a few others shall we yeah do uh, 2018 Influx of Insanity oh yes I remember them I remember two things about them <laughs> they were uh, winners of the under 18 competition so it was possible we could have the same again tonight but only the second artist Wow. Uh, to do so. Do you remember the first artist to do so? No, who was that? Uh, Grace Sarah back oh. in uh, back in 2012. I think it's one of the possibly one of the first ones that we would have covered covered here. May maybe either the first or the or the second with uh, broadcast as as a station. The other thing about Influx of Insanity is that half the band uh, one of the, the it was a duo and uh, <laughs> he's the son of my doctor. Oh, that's very the good. other other thing yes. which I I I I remembered. <laughs> Um, Flint Moore, 2017, we heard them earlier on. Um, Permission to Dance, 2016, we Let's talked about the coats. Yep, yeah. Yep. Um, Fourth Labyrinth, uh, 2014. Oh, they're big fans of, I mean, you know, big regulars for us. And, uh, you know, they're still going strong, of course. Yeah, some, some do, don't they? 20, 2013 uh, was The Simple Tone, the band I remember very much at the time that have kind of faded away. Now, you have to go through. Now, if you go down through the list, you can pick out some sort of well-known Cambridge bands. 2001, uh, the Alice Band. Right. Uh, right. Well-known locally at the time, at least. And um, Ezio oh in, yes. uh, in 1993. Now, he'd won it before, actually, hadn't he, with his band. I can't remember. I th it might Ezio no, and Booger? Yeah, no, uh, he, he won with another, he oh was in okay. another band. He was in a band as opposed to one called Ezio. And uh, so what year did he win it then? Uh, he, Ezio won it solo in 1993. And I need something yeah. like Paul Christoforu, yeah, uh, who you, you can see, hear after when we're I knew done. Hi, knew of him. I didn't know of him before because 93 was the year I got married. Was it? Well, in Cambridge. And uh, <laughs> before we, so we moved to Cambridge in 89. So, uh, but we were we we listened to a lot of Ezio and we and saw a lot of Ezio live at that time. Yeah, and he's got a gig coming up uh, here at the Cambridge Junction. Here's a traditional Christmas, Christmas gig um, in I don't know, it's the first or second week of December, I think. It uh, the European tour had to be uh, cancelled, which is an awful shame because of a um, a slight injury to Booger, which basically made it very difficult for him to. Tr for him to travel. Well, they have, they've got a very big audience in in Germany and Europe, so um, I imagine that that's probably a bit of a, a blow to them, really. Uh, I, <laughs> I remember because obviously seeing Ezio many times live in a in a in a um, gig venue, seeing him in TK Maxx one time when he was queuing up for his shopping was quite bizarre. Yeah, and no, I sort of coming out of Asda the other <laughs> day, which again was quite. Uh, but like also, <laughs> in in more bizarre things, that um, my husband was uh, on business in work in uh, India at a conference and went up in the lift to see there was an Ezio poster in the lift in India um, saying that they were playing th at the hotel that night. <laughs> That's not bad. That's yeah, not, not bad, bad at all. Actually, the other thing which I possibly should uh, uh, should mention whilst we're on the subject of Ezio, of course, uh, one of his tracks was famously selected by Tony Blair when uh, yes. he went on Desert Island Discs, which Ezio absolutely hates as a uh, as a result <laughs> of result of which, but. Uh, there's nothing much you can do about it, no, really. No, it's someone uh, likes your music, that's yeah, you've got to take uh, it on you. you can't, well, <laughs> not necessarily. Anyway, let, let us welcome our next guest, because we've just heard her uh, perform on uh, on stage. Uh, Jenna, welcome. Hello. Thank you very much for joining us. So we need to work out where you're from, because it mentions ah. that your <laughs> bio mentions um, Manchester, your bio mentions London, but this is the Cambridge Band competition. You need to explain. It is indeed. So I'm from Manchester originally. Spent a bit of time living down in, in uh, London, that's where I'd moved to, but then the pandemic happened, so I went back to Manchester, and now I'm in Cambridge. Oh, that so will do. That's touring works. around the yeah, country. That's, that's, that works, works, <laughs> and of course, you've been a, a, um, you won a heat this year, didn't you, of course? 
so post pandemic so uh, yes yeah. yeah i was in this year's this year's competition yeah it's we're trying to get a head around who yeah the heats <laughs> one heats two last year and the rest of them uh, 2020 2021 yeah, what it, year it, are we in no it one makes, knows it makes it, it, well, exactly. it makes it sound like a football season is the, is the trouble <laughs> of calling it 2020 2021 um point taken we were watching on the monitors here oh, your uh, performance uh da- downstairs now there was uh, guitar there is there it. was keyboard but what else was going on yeah, so there's also a bit of a drum pad, just so I can get a bit more, a bit more sound. Right. Um, so it's like, yeah, I've got some. So drum do you, do you, s- do you set that off? Is that effectively live? It may be looped, but yeah, li- yeah, li- so live to start off with, as it were. It's got sounds in it that I've pre-programmed, and then if uh, if I manage to hit them, you get to hear them <laughs> out the front. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you, is it hard playing guitar and trying to sing and do all that stuff at the same time? It's you, you it's a challenge, but I enjoy practiced. the challenge. Yeah, I enjoy the challenge. Yeah. I think it's just, yeah, practice, really, like everything else. Did you have a preference? It's interesting because it's quite often it's it's usually, you know, the classic girl, girl and guitar. Girl and piano seems to have, um, I don't know, I'm trying to think of artists who, Beverly Craven, she was years ago. That's um, mm. trying trying to sort of you know, to pin it down, really. What do you, do you have a preference? Um, I mean, I started on guitar, so it used to be, and a lot of the time I'll play gigs where it's just guitar vocals. Uh, but I also recently, I think I've piano is growing on me a lot. So not particularly. That's not a very preferential answer. No, no, no. <laughs> Just a bit of both. Yeah. And you kind of like as you know, as you get old, like I used to have. I do still do have a sweet tooth, but uh, generally I've kind of gone a bit more savoury as, uh, <laughs> ah. as the years have passed. And then maybe that's the same moving from the guitar. Uh, to, to, the to, to the piano. The same, I don't know. I bet you'll principle. keep with the guitar, though, still. You just have a dabble with the piano. Yeah, I don't think the guitar's going anywhere. Just so you've yet. got a new single out, is that right? So mm. it's coming out next year. Okay. So, yeah, you heard a couple of new tunes that are hopefully coming out at the start of next year. And uh, so will they be on an EP or are they coming out as separate singles? They'll be coming out as singles, um, forming an EP, but all released as singles. And yeah. what have you. Um, what are you doing? Are you gigging at the moment, or how how have you been since you know post pandemic? I've been gigging a little bit, yeah. I'm just trying to um, explore Cambridge and get into the Cambridge scene. Now yeah. you were at the Tall Trees a couple of days ago. I, I was, yeah. So last forgetting the day of the week, but I think it was last Saturday, <laughs> if I know my days of the week right. Um, I played at Tall Trees, which and is what lovely. What venue. did you think? Because it hasn't been with us for very long. In fact, the last time I went, there it was still snug. So, um, but there is the intention to to really build. Uh, the 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 music there. Yeah, it was a really nice, it's, or it is a really nice venue. I highly recommend everyone go check it out because they have great lineup. They've got an open mic on a Wednesday night as well, every Wednesday, um, and yeah, just met some really nice people. And I think what was nice is that people seem to be there to listen to the music, um, mm. as well as you know have a drink and stuff yes. like that. But there was definitely a crowd of music lovers, which was really really nice. Yeah, you obviously you, you may have heard. Uh, well, you'll be, I'm sure you'll be familiar that uh, the, you know, the, the Flying Pig, a very well established <laughs> venue. Uh, in Cambridge, had to shut its doors for reasons I think probably well, well, well documented now. But there is, and I don't know as long as I've been in Cambridge, which has been like fifteen or sixteen years now. There's always been this worry of there not being enough music venues. Yet at mm. the same time, yeah, you know, just played at a new music venue in Cambridge, tall, tall, tall trees. Do you, do you find you know is that the same in? Well, necessarily Manchester as a whole, it's a big place, but in pockets of Manchester, are there, are, 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 or in London, are, are, do you find there's similar issues, always nowhere for music, there's nowhere for music, but and it has yeah. to be sorted out? I think, I think in general, I think, well, I think everyone's well aware that grassroots music venues have had a pretty tough um, 12 months, now, 18 months, yes. however long it's been now. Um, so, yeah, I definitely know a few in Manchester that went over that time or have gone over the years, similar way to the Flying Pig with yes developers and all that mm. all that jazz so yeah it's a shame to see but i think it stuff is bouncing back i think i've seen like same with cambridge like quite a bit popping up there and definitely in various parts of manchester you know little pockets of music grow out of <laughs> different areas yes so um you've just won the acoustic prize today so yes. congratulations Thank on you. that and that means that you're going to get a slot at camp festival next year is that you're going to be your first festival have you played other festivals it will be probably my first um big uh, yeah like bigger festival i played a few like local you know community type festivals uh, but yeah never done a, a big festival before so that's all That'd very exciting, exciting. Yeah. yeah and some money to go towards performing fees as well so yeah very some mo- spending money when you get there yeah how, how much do you get <laughs> do you want a lateral uh, it, it is public so you can't <laughs> <laughs> i think it's a, f- a few hundred that's not bad that's, that's good yeah. uh, which i guess you know it's um um c- cds eps a- a- aside it's um 
I suspect it's possibly difficult to break even sometimes going out on the road. Yeah, I think the cost of like taking all the equipment, um, you know, you might have to get a van or if you're on a show, you need at least a couple of people mm. and getting everything to a gig. So, you know, sometimes a challenge. So, yeah, it's an amazing prize. So thank you very much to uh, the, the no, people well, 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 well you guys. Well, and well done. Well done for you yeah. for uh, being the person who was um, good enough to. Uh, to, 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 pick, to pick it up. So it, 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 what else do you, you know what else do you do? Do you um, uh, is music completely your life or are there other aspects to it? I mean, I'm not gonna lie music is <laughs> basically my entire life yeah. but um, yeah no I do music full time so I'm just very much in various areas of music and yeah making the most of being able to do that. I'm yeah. fortunate to be able to do that. Well, that's good. Well, look, thank you very so much, Shannon, for coming up and uh, having having a, a chat with us. Not long, you're long to wait now. We're uh, expecting to find out who the overall winner is just after uh, eleven o'clock. So, um, thank you for uh, having best a chat of with me. You are very welcome indeed. Um, that's Jenham, who you heard from a few moments ago. We're our next artist um, shortly coming up is going to be uh, the final one, uh, which we're going to hear from uh, this evening. Uh, they are strawberry legs. I'm not quite sure how far. I get the impression we might be a little way for them from them actually uh, coming on stage. So uh, shall we take a little bit of music, and then as soon as we um, see a sign of uh, strawberry lace uh, on stage, we'll uh, we'll bring those to you. <laughs> So Kings for a while from Fourth Labyrinth, who won. Uh, we were checking the, uh, the the list of when they won a short while ago, weren't we, Alex? And it went back to 2014, and uh, they are still performing. So I'll be hearing from our next and final artist in a few moments' time, ahead of um, Strawberry Lace. Let's uh, meet uh, one of the award winners, because um, uh, Slava B is here, and he picked up um, the uh, Kimberly Roo Songwriting Prize. Yes, absolutely. I'm, I'm speechless, you know. Yeah, uh, it's um, uh, it's quite interesting because your your music, having having listened to the track a little earlier on uh, t today, um, uh, very different from what I remember on uh, Kimberly's albums when I used to buy them. <laughs> <laughs> yes, music progressing. Yeah. <laughs> now, bit of an accent on you. Um, wh where are you from? I'm Russian. Russian. Yes. So how do, how does a Russian find them find themselves in, in Whizbeach, isn't it? I think is where, that's where you've ended up. That's correct. That's correct. In Whizbeach, yes. So uh, I'm, I'm in England already for 14 years, enjoying this massively, developing myself music visual here. So absolutely loved it. Could not wish anything better, you know. Especially after winning this award, the best songwriter. Just a wow. So uh, have you been writing songs? Sorry. No, no, go ahead. Have you been writing songs for long? Uh, I've, I've started writing about four years ago, uh -huh. uh, live music, uh, but before that I was uh, recording uh, electro, s electro house, okay. break beats, this mm -hmm. kind of stuff, from, from since I was uh, 14 years old. And so have you produced any um, albums or do you are you doing any gigs or anything like that? Yes, uh, I, have, I have released uh, 
uh, my debut album back in 2017, which has come to a top 50 albums on the Cambridge 105 radio. Uh, with Dave Hammond on s the Smelly Flower Pot. Oh yeah. Uh, then it's followed with two EPs. Uh, one of them was an uh, EP called Ants, which has been extremely successful and still performing very well nowadays, even though it's already two years old. Uh, and now I'm working again on a full album, which I'm going to call I Regret, and uh, some of the tracks I have been performing on the band competition this year. So tell us the the the, the, the song um, or the or the track um, Ants, which. Um, you mentioned there and has, has, has won the the songwriting award what what it's about and what was the if you like the creative process of like right, we're going to talk about this and then we're going to talk about this and then we're going to talk about this so ba basically i wanted to write something something uh heavy enough that, that is something that I, I would like as well um so i made the riff and i thought i need to make some kind of you know a shout yeah and i was trying to pick the words and i came up with dance yeah which is Ants. And it, okay. Nice. No, yeah. I see that. No, I like that. And yeah. with a bit of a delay, you know, uh, on a track, it, wa it was it sounded very nice. Yeah, I, li I loved it. And then I thought, okay, so so I need to write about ants. And uh, then basically sto flashbacks, and stories, <laughs> and stories have started to come. I, I think if I think I ever think of ants, I think of Tom and Jerry and the cartoons <laughs> when the ants are running away <laughs> with the picnic. Uh, Slava, thank you so much for uh, for popping by to see us. Congratulations on winning the Kimberly Roo Songwriting Award. Uh, as as well we're going to go downstairs now uh, for our final act of the evening uh, heat six winners strawberry lace <laughs> and you're listening to the cambridge band competition on cambridge 105 radio <laughs>
Strawberry lace. Yeah, we're just gonna make a fucking racket for a while. That's all right. All right, cool. Good miss it. Last one, cheers. Players. 
some point. Outside. You're listening to the Cambridge Band Competition on Cambridge 105 Radio. What's going up to do? Right, let's have it. Okay, to the judges.
Thank you. Right. We got one more. I just want to say cheers for coming down to see us. And, uh, yeah, big up all the other fans and that, all the organisers, all that good stuff. Oh.
So our last act of this evening, Strawberry Lace. They will heat six winners. We've had seven acts all together. When you add in uh, the under-18s artist, uh, uh, Chloe Lorenzen, who we heard from at the start of the show, the start of the show uh, was at 7 o'clock this evening, and it's now um, 8 minutes after 11 o'clock. So if you've tuned in for Paul Christopher, uh, you'll hear this week's Rock of Ages, which does actually have a look back at the Cambridge Band Competition Park. You'll hear that uh, when we've wrapped up, which I suspect well, it was scheduled for about 11.30. I have an awful feeling that might be a tiny bit later. Don't know. <laughs> uh, the judges now, though, are going to start making their deliberations. So we're going to be finding out, I suspect, sometime around 20 past, uh, 25 past 11, who the winner of this year's Cambridge Band Competition is. And I don't envy those judges making that decision. What a great night we've had. It's, th it's not bad. It, it's, it's difficult to, well, we don't have to, so it's a lot easier yeah, for exactly. us. Yeah, uh, exactly. But it, it is difficult to, every act that we've, we've heard from tonight has uh, something uh, very good uh, about their sound, their performance, wh wh whatever. And I guess it's up to the judges to try and work out from this mix of styles that we've heard as to which one is the deserved winner. Absolutely. And I also, before I forget, I want to say a sh big shout out to George Stannard, who has messaged in on our um, feed. And also he wants to give a shout out to you, Julian, and to Neil Whiteside. And yeah, he's haven't seen, haven't heard from him for a little while. So it's lovely to hear from you, George. And the last time I think was at the Macmillan Coffee Morning where we came and visited your school which was a, a while ago now. What I like uh, about George is that he's spent the evening at the Jason Donovan oh uh, yes. concert, uh, a rival attraction this of evening course. at the Corn Exchange, uh, where Mr Donovan has uh, been performing. And uh, George has seen that, he's come home, he's tuned into our YouTube feed, and uh, he is now going to be uh, watching that through, and he says that tomorrow... He You'll will watch the whole uh, thing again. Watch it all it's all available for you on YouTube. As, as can you. Just yeah, just go to YouTube and search for Cambridge 105 Radio. Uh, right, we have Strawberry Lace gathering at the uh, the entrance to our little backstage area here. We have to find them a couple of microphones, uh, which they can then speak you. to you with. We'll have to um, share t one between one, two. One, one between two. It's like being back at school, really. <laughs> right. Come here, Will. Well, well done, we'll guys. We'll share this one. Hello. Thank you. <coughs> Do you enjoy that? Yeah, it was yeah. good fun. You look yeah. very out of breath. Is it, does it get hotter down there? <laughs> it, it, it's it's a little the night bit, goes yeah. on, so if you're like last on, you, get, a bit warm, you get to build yeah. more of the sweats than everybody else. Yeah. yeah. Well, very, very, very well done. Good, Thank you very good, much. Good, good performance as well. It's Strawberry Lace, uh, which is, I don't know who, you have to put your hands up so I know who I'm speaking to. Uh, we've got Ryan. That's me. We've got Joe. Me. Uh, we've got Ollie and we've got Will. That's me. And we've also got a script which has the right names, which also <laughs> makes uh, makes a change. Um, and you all met at college, I gather. That's right. Wh yeah. which, which one? CRC. CRC, right, doing right, doing right, right here in town. A music course. Uh, uh, this is like uh, three years ago now, I think. And uh, yeah, just met there. And yeah, standard business, really. Yeah, I guess Practicing, so. yeah. Well, you know, what, was it one of these like things where you sort of think, oh, hang on a moment, he, he, I'm gonna, I'd work well if I played with yeah, him. Pretty much, yeah. 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 It was, uh, yeah, from the get-go, it was like, there's definitely going to be something here. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whether it's good or not. Good yeah, or yeah. <laughs> whether people like it or not. But, uh, yeah. A and were there others in the year, uh, year group as well, who you know, who, who formed their little, little yeah, things yeah. and went off for and band, band, yeah, bands too? Yeah, plenty of people. Um, like one of our really good mates, uh, Lewis Perrett, he started a project uh, down in London called uh, Export Import. They're doing some really interesting stuff. A uh, guy called Kelsey, he started a, like a hip-hop sort of career, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, under the name Wesley. Uh, yeah, there's plenty of plenty of talent going about. It's good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you met then, and had how long have you been sort of gigging then? Have you done oh, many gigs? Years. You'll well, need to use the microphones. Oh. I can't hear you. Well, we first started playing about three years ago in Will's bedroom, the drummer. Um, ever since then, we've got keep, keep yeah, the got gigs <laughs> lined up, and we've just been going from there, really. And so how did you manage that over lockdown then? Well, we didn't. We like didn't <laughs> really. <laughs> we just you like did. you know wrote songs in our yeah. spare time, and like when we got a chance to meet up, we just uh, you know got back to it. And finally, like this year, we've had some festivals. Yeah, it's been good to like get back. What was the wh what was the first festival or the first gig that you did imme immediately after lockdown? Well, Pike and Hill. We did a sit down. Well, that was the first gig back after lockdown. Right. That was yeah. a sit down gig, which was our first sit down gig, and many others as well. But um, 
Then we had a, a busy weekend playing Pen Penfest and Latitude. Latitude Festival. So that was good. To that, that was, was our first festivals that we played. <laughs> so that was fun. That was mental. Like be back. Yeah. How, how did they feel to do Latitude? That must oh yeah, been exactly. a good one to, to, to tick off the list of yeah. uh, festivals. Very to nice do. indeed. <laughs> yeah. Very lovely indeed. Was that the first sort of big festival you yeah, played? Yeah, first, you yeah. played? Had you been there as beforehand? No, as no, as I, I, I mean it was the first <laughs> festival Ryan even went to. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, I didn't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it was really good. Yeah. yeah. Is it Latitude is one of these places where it's great, you kind of feel it like it's been there forever, yeah. yet it's like emerged into the consciousness yeah, only yeah, really yeah. over, despite only effectively being down the road from us all. Yeah, yeah. Pretty yeah. Much, yeah. I mean, after going to Lat Latitude and playing there, I just want to go there every year now. Like yeah. The whole setup of it and everything oh yeah, is definitely amazing. Do it again, yeah. 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 Did you stay times. the weekend? Did you no, 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 we just, we went, just went there for the night and then drove back afterwards. We, we were playing the day before as well, so... Yeah, we, we played Penn Festival the day before, so it was a bit of a busy In and out weekend. job, yeah. and then yeah. back to work on Monday. So yeah. and I, I guess that's the thing, isn't it? Where particularly with, you know, with during, the, during the summer months, you could be playing back-to-back -back gigs mm -hmm. all the time, yeah. work, as you say, on the, on, on the Monday, and yep. then for the come to December, and you're just going to, well, I guess ge um, just rehearsing and um, mm -hmm. putting some stuff together. Pretty yeah. much. Yeah, it works mostly. It's yeah. like tracks and practicing and stuff like uh, have you done have you done many recordings which well that's what we're doing at the moment available. we're actually putting our first album together so we're recording it ourselves is hard work to be honest right. so you chose <laughs> not to go to the studio route well but to yeah. to everything we've got on spotify has been recorded by an actual professional recording person like at a studio um but we've recently bought our own equipment we're trying to we're dabbling. Yeah. DIY. Yeah. DIY, yeah. So you said you were on the music course. Did you learn some of that stuff when you were doing that? A little bit, yeah. That kind of introduced oh, us to like production. Stuff, yeah, production. And yeah, everything. We learned quite a lot from college. Yeah. Now, yeah, we just kind of want to work on it ourselves. Yeah. So we get it sounding just right. Yeah. And we don't have to pay. You know, a couple <laughs> of grand. Yeah. Well, I, I guess that I guess yeah. I guess that's the thing. But yeah. I, I know it's you know some of the studios they offer you know more than just the uh, yeah. recording. Yeah, sure. They might you know I don't know sort out the distribution or yeah. um, or, or some of the artwork or something like that as well. Yeah, mm. we're, quite, we're quite on doing it independently. Really. Yeah, we really want to do it ourselves now. Yeah, that's the main game you know that we're trying for. Don't really want to sign up yet. Yeah, Just, like, try it ourselves, and <laughs> if it doesn't work, then. Yeah, take us. <laughs> so, what's, so what, what's, what's, what's your time scale? You're, you're, you're doing the rec recordings now and then, mm. then editing and mixing? Mixing. We'll probably get some help in terms of the mixing and everything. Yeah. Right now, we're just kind of getting into the swing of things, like recording it ourselves. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And we've got to finish the songs off as well, obviously. Yeah, there's a few that <laughs> don't have lyrics, and that's Ryan's fault. That's always... <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's, let's break this down. So, Ryan, you're, you're the lyrics man, or at least you're supposed Vocalist, to be the lyrics yeah, man. Yeah. That's yeah. That's yeah. 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 That's, that's quite... <laughs> <laughs> and who, 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 who does the music? We all do. We all it's do. a group yeah. effort. It's even group even effort. Will on drums. Yeah. yeah surprisingly. Uh, surprisingly, uh, yeah. I don't, I pick, on the poor dr don't pick on oh the poor well. drummer. No, no, that's that's right. Right. I, I can take it. Okay, take that's the just as well, really. By the <laughs> <laughs> so what's what's so so over the next few weeks, it's recording and um, much. Any, yeah. any any more gigs to come? We've got none lined up. Got nothing. The last one for a while, kind of end of an era, pretty much, because you know, once we get all our new songs recorded. Then we'll, you know, start gigging again, and that we aren't kind of new material instead. Yeah, instead of our old, yeah, old stuff on Spotify. We're getting bored of our own songs, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say that when you're in ten years' time, and you've got to, all oh your yeah. fans are calling <laughs> yeah, out new we'll music. We're gonna have to years. come back to them. Play that sorry. one for your first album. Yeah, exactly. yeah. No, no, <laughs> no <laughs> definitely not. It's not happening. <laughs> Sit down. Okay. Yeah, well, look, guys, down. thanks. Thank you very oh much no, uh, you. For, for coming up to see us. Thank and you for uh, thank you very much. I, I guess you did almost time. Oh, thank you very much. Judges <laughs> around the corner making yes, their deliberations. Are they the so judges? Uh, apparently so. Yeah. yeah they're so all hiding around there. You can yeah. hear them making a. I think Bleed Easy <laughs> should win. <Yeah. laughs> Just give them the word. Yeah. Yeah. Strawberry lines. That's your, you're all winners. <laughs> don't, don't worry about that. But look, yeah. th thanks, guys, for coming up. Cheers. And, um, thank you. Yeah. Let, let us know when you got some, uh, some the al albums come together. No worries. We'll uh, see we'll it at Strawberry Fair next year. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. You'll be filming there. Yeah. Hopefully. No, no, you get a slot yeah, we in Strawberry Fair. Oh, do we? Yeah, yeah. Night, Already. Yeah. The better you do, the better the, the slots you get. All the heat get, winners, you're all on sub. Oh, yeah. Well, somewhere. You have a pull, you've hit that. Oh, no, yeah, never mind. <laughs> yeah, prizes for everyone. But well, look, on guys, that note. <laughs> 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 thank you very much for uh, <laughs> thanks for coming up. at um, Strawberry Lace, who are our final performers here today. We're going to, well, we know we can hear that around the corner, so we're not going to... Uh, get the uh, the winners just yet. So we're going to take a piece of music. We're going to dip into the unsigned chart, and this one uh, is the current new entry.
as Jesse P and I Will Never Give Up. That's the latest entry in the unsigned charts and the results of that chart will go out next Wednesday night on the New Music Generator with Tim Willett. I like that one. It was yeah. quite, uh, quite, quite poppy. Yeah, kind of yeah. yeah but this time of like night, it's good we need something with a little bit of a boogie, don't oh, we? Oh, I think so too. I might need something to get me home. I uh, chose, did you, how did you get here? I walked. Oh, I did the, <laughs> I did, I did the cycle, which yeah. um, I think is possibly the, uh, the best decision. Now listen, it's gone quiet uh, yes. around the corner where the judges were deliberating. So that seems to suggest that they may very well have reached a decision. And so we'll cross to the stage uh, just as soon as there's uh, some action there. And we'll hear from Mark and Liz, who have been the on-stage hosts uh, this evening. We started off, by the way, at about uh, uh, just after seven. Chloe Lorenzen uh, was the under-18s uh, winner. That was that was a very strong performance. Yes, yes, and, and with a band, which she says she, she has for uh, on-stage band, and um, she has a band for on-stage, and uh, n not necessarily for when she's at doing her music. And... Um, then following that, it was the Shambertons, which uh, were also a 2020 um, no, no, <laughs> 2020 no, no, no. winner. Do, do, do continue, yeah. yeah. And then we heard Pink Lemonade, and then it was uh, Bleed Easy, The Routine, uh, Jenham, and uh, finally Strawberry Lace. Uh, so there's going to be a decision imminently uh, on the stage. You'll hear the voice of uh, Justine Hatfield. We spoke to Justine earlier. Uh, she's the chair of the... Uh, judges Committee uh, this year. I think she's been so for the past uh, uh, few years and up until, I guess up until, the, as we said to her, well she'll always be the landlady of the Flying yeah. Pig as far uh, as we're concerned. But that particular venue uh, sadly now had I'm to shut its doors will the last time Will they have a Flying Pig stage at Strawberry Fair? Uh, we will find out. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to find out about something else, I think. Let's uh, oh, go we down to the stage. We are. We're ready. Okay. Okay, guys, judges' results are in. Are you excited? Yeah. Don't sound like you're excited enough. Are you excited? Yeah. I think after the count of three, I'd like you all to just shout out the name of the act you think should be winning tonight. One, two, three. Oh, that's a real, that's yeah. a really good mix. I yeah. Like that. Yeah. Well, we're not going to tell you. So, please welcome out the head judge, Justine. Hi, <laughs> Cambridge Bang Competition. It's been a wonderful night. It's been an amazing competition. It's been unlike any other. We've spanned over two years. Uh, okay, I'll get on with it. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for the heckle. That's pleasant. <laughs> the judges have had a tough night, obviously. They always do. It's been an amazing time. The band have spanned all different genres. It's never easy to compare such different bands, but the winner of the Cambridge Band Competition 2020 slash 21, Strawberry Lace. Yeah. Strawberry Lace, if you'd like to get yourselves on stage, please. Can we have Strawberry Lace front and centre on the stage, please? I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to say. Uh, oh, hello. No more songs. Sorry. Yeah, uh, I guess, yeah, once again, cheers for coming down to see us. It's been a pleasure. I don't know anymore. 
We can't play any more because we're out of time. But what we do have is the prize for the winners. Come on. Look at that. Abbott, come on. <laughs> and a not inconsequential sum of money. What is that? Is that money? <laughs> Dosh. <laughs> Come on. What's going on now? Right. We're going to do some photos, but that is the end of the band competition 2021. We will be back next year. Even more, even better, even louder, even prouder. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for the Junction Star. Please give a round of applause for them. Thank you for the judges, thank you for the Bangkok crew, thank you for everyone who's played, and thank you to Strawberry Lane. And that is it, we are done. And that is uh, Strawberry Lace, uh, deserved winners of the Cambridge Band Competition at 2021. And uh, top marks as well to, to, to CRC, who clearly uh, helped them along the way there. Yeah, I was, I was slightly worried when they didn't make it onto the stage straight away um, that we'd kind of held them up somehow. Um, but no, fortunately not the case. So they've collected their award now. They're just uh, moving off the stage here at the junction. And uh, that is uh, pretty much it uh, from us. If you want to see this all back again, you can go to the Cambridge 105 Radio uh, YouTube channel and uh, you can uh, watch it in vision uh, from start to finish. And we'll leave that there for you to enjoy. Um, Alex, you enjoy it? Got much, very much enjoyed it. Thank you very much for inviting me. Uh, I'd be very happy to do it any time. Well, I might have to do it again next year by the sounds of things. All of the artists who you've heard from tonight uh, will get a place at Strawberry Fair and be playing on uh, one or more of the stages there. Um, up next, we've got Rock of Ages with Paul Christoforo. He's going to be speaking to Sharon from Keltrix and also delving into past editions of the Cambridge Band Competition. Our engineers here with Tom Smith. Uh, Bob Chipperfield and Lawrence Mikaleth. Uh, I'm Julian Clover and we'll catch you again soon. Have a good evening. What's left of it?